All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do a, well, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today, but today, hey, Tim, buddy, what's going on? We are going to try something new. Well, what I'm actually doing is streaming also to Twitch. So I'm on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. So you guys can decipher which one. Hey, Miss Kingdom, what's going on? How are you, sweetie? Hope everything's going well. So I'm deciding to, since I do have a lot of uh, Masterverse action figures and stuff like that, and I got so much supply coming in, and I wanted to do reviews for them, but adult life happened. So therefore, I had to pretty much um, put a lot of those figures on hold. If you look over here, you will see that those are all Masterverse figures, and there's another pile over here as well. Hey, Patricia, how are you, sweetie? It's great to see you. It's great to see you. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a, a marathon, but you can talk amongst yourselves. Um, you can play John Cena. You should be able to play the John Cena theme right about now. But um, yeah, you know, we're just going to do a random unboxing of all of these figures, as many figures as I can do without me passing out, okay? Um, again, you know, thank you everybody for stopping through again. I'm streaming to all three platforms and I wanted to tell you guys something. If you're an action figure collector, so like yourself, like myself, rather, there are these stands that I found, right? Because, um, me, myself, as you can see, I like that. And this is not all of my collection. What I have displaying in the background back there is usually what I like to have around me because I have millions upon millions of action figures because I've been doing it for years. I've been collecting for years, you know? So, yeah, we are going to unbox some action figures. And also, I wanted to thank my boy, Count Kenny, because he just sent me, hold on, where did I put this box at? He just sent me this right here. I won't show his address, but inside is Storm's collectibles, Storm collectibles, um, Balrog is inside. And I'm a very big fan of uh, Street Fighter, as you know. Um, I love playing Street Fighter, been a fan of Street Fighter since I was young. And um, yeah, we'll be doing this one. I'm going to do a, a, a big production on. I like to do big productions on things that people send me or whatever the case may be. And he sent it in this nice nuts box. I don't want to show you his address, but inside he said he sent me some nuts for me to eat. So I'm going to eat those. He said, I hope you like almonds. I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Funkos. I love Funkos. Absolutely love Funkos. I absolutely love Funkos. I, yes, I do. I absolutely love Funkos. Which Funkos do you have, um, Patricia? And again, it's great to see you guys. Thank you so much. But I wanted to show you if you are an action figure collector like myself, if you enjoy collecting action figures, whatever the case may be. It is this, on Amazon. I found these for a very, and I mean very, very reasonable price. I'm going to share it with you real quick. Let me know if you can see it. It's for pretty much like the one, um, 112 scale. Um, it may fit some three and a quarter or 3.75 figures, but I'm not really sure. But i um, show this to you real quick. Let me know if you can see this. Share screen. Okay, share screen. It's on figures. Okay, let me know if you guys can see this right here. You should be able to. Over here, these figures, like literally, they fit the pegs, they fit the bottom of the whole of the um action figures very, very good. You and I mean I've everything you see standing up back there, I was able to get them because it's a big hassle to find figures or stands that will support your figures the correct way you want them to stand up. That has always been a problem with me, but for some reason, something told me to just try this, um, try these these stands right here. And I do have one right here. I actually have a few. Hold on one second. I have a few right here that I can show you what they look like and how well they support the figures. All right. And yes, they support Joe's and um and Cobras as well right here but these are the ones right here if you're looking for action figure stands to pretty much put your figures on these are the ones right here as you can see he fits on here very perfectly hordak is fitting on here very perfectly <coughs> wonder woman sadness wonder woman is my favorite she says i need she said i have more i need anger from inside out what do you need anger from inside out what's going on what's going on patricia what is going on and again, thank you everybody for tuning in. I greatly appreciate that you guys decided to stop by. So 
let's get this show on the road right now. And again, you know, if you want me to show this later on, I will show you guys. It's right here. It's by Figures Labs, 56 pack. And you can get like a, a I would say like a hundred of them for like little to nothing. And they're good and durable. They're nice and sturdy. They're not made of cheap plastic or anything like that. They are good. And they fit the peg holes on the bottom of your action figures. Hey, Kenny. Kenny, listen, if you're looking for action figure stands that are very reasonable and cheap and durable, these ones right here are very, very good. I'm leaving it up here on the screen for a bit. I'm going to I'm gonna grab a Joe real quick so that you guys can see it. But I'm telling you, Kenny, grab these up. They grab them up. I, I mean, they're very good. And your figures stand up. Like, I have jumped up and down in my office. They didn't topple over. They didn't just fit one foot or anything like that. Hold on one second. I want to show you guys. Well, well, we'll do. No, no, Kenny, these fit everything. I put them on. Um, I put them on. Um, what do you call them? Marvel Legends. I put them on Joe's. I put them on NECA. I put them on Motu. Everything. Oh, yeah. Well, that's you right there, Kenny. You already know what that is. And again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the unbeatable TNT Photon HQ show. This right here is Kenny right here. This is Kenny. Right here, Count Kenny, chokes and holds, whichever one you know him by, that's who he is right there. But yeah, here are the stands right here. Let me show you guys. Let me stop the screen. Stop share screen, start screen. And here is Dr. Mindbender on the stand. These look, these look and fit very, very well right here. I absolutely love these stands right here. And Dr. Mindbender is looking very nice on this stand. But yeah. What's going on, Martin? Glad to have you aboard. Glad to have you aboard. Howdy, Miss Howdy, Count Kenny, Patricia. Will do. I'll send you the link right away, brother. Yes, nice. I'm telling you, Kenny, they stand up. If you see all my Joes back there, they're standing up. I put NECA figures. I put the Super 7s on there. It fits everything. And they have, you know what? I'll pull it out so you can see. It has like extra holes. And you can take the other foot and brace it. So that like, if you have like a peg that's bigger than most or whatever the case may be. And they also have the kind like, if you don't have any pegs, if it doesn't have any pegs on the bottom, you can slide the foot through. So yeah, I'm telling you these. And I came across these just, um, no, you can get a hundred of them for like, like they were on sale. And I got a hundred of them for like 30 bucks. That's less than a, that's less than like what? 50 cent a um, peg, like, you know what I mean? And they're good. They're not, they're not flimsy. They're not cheap or anything like that. So yeah, I would say pick them up. They are very good. Now, and again, ladies and gentlemen, this is my boy right here, Count Kenny. He was the one who sent me the nuts package so that I'll, and there is a Balrog in there. So I will be, um, I will be opening that up and doing a big major production for that. But my reason for doing the Masterverse figures this time is because I am swamped with them. I have those that you see back there and I have another set. Hold on, let me grab them because I don't want to fall. Oh. Okay, let's... I have these over here. So yeah, I am swamped with Masterverse figures because I love the Masterverse line. If you know anything about my YouTube channel, I absolutely love the Masterverse line. I absolutely love the Masterverse line. So yeah, it, that is the gist of the story. So what we're gonna do is, we are gonna get into this right now. And I'm gonna let you guys choose. And as usual, we're going to grade these action figures on what they um what what they what you feel they should be all right we use a one through five grading system where so five is the best one is the least you know what i'm saying broken pin is literally like trash and garbage uh these stands right here i can share it with you one more i'll share it with you martin these stands right here and they fit perfectly they are i just thought i had to come and um share this with you guys these stands fit everything everything you can see right there, Figures Labs, 56-pack, 6 Star Wars. 
26 bucks for 56 of them. And they actually had a, a cheaper sale that you could get the 100 pack. Me, myself, my next, I started with the, um, with the 36 first. What is this? The 56 pack, right? I am not disappointed whatsoever. I will send you the link. It's called Figures Lab 56 pack, six, six inch Star Wars Black Series action figure stands, but they work for everything. They are amazing. I absolutely love them. As you can see, I bought the 56 pack first. And then I went and purchased the 100 pack and it was well worth it. I'm able to organize my figures. They stand up. They're not toppling over. Even my heaviest of figures are being supported by those stands. No, I'm not being endorsed. They didn't give me anything. They don't even know that I'm speaking on their um, action figure stands. But fellow collectors like myself, if I see something I think you guys that might be helpful to you guys, I will let you know. Now, as usual, I'm going to let you guys choose out of these two which one we're going to try to see as many as we can get through which one would you like for me to burst open first first one to leave a comment down there is the first one that i um that i will uh burst open the package do you want to see merman do you want to see web store or do you want to see merman burst open first it's your choice are they flavored almonds i love almonds merman you got it so miss kingdom has hollered out merman we will do merman and as you know it comes in the usual it comes in the usual um window box as most of the masterverse figures do you have master of the universe revelations merman mattel over here you got some nice graphics around the box over here merman on the side and it says ocean warlord merman off the, across the top it says masterverse masterverse 30 points of articulation you have a barcode up here that doesn't have numbers or anything, but the box art is absolutely amazing. One thing I can say about these Masterverse figures is that they always have good box art. And it says, prior to Skeletor's disappearance, Merman was the Lord of Destruction Reluctant Ally. He commanded an army of Aquaticans and terrorized the Crystal Sea. Proving to be a valuable resource in the fight against He-Man in the Master Universe, their, their inability to see eye to eye, however, often led to their downfall. And you have the other figures within the line that I do have. I have Faker, I have Buzz Off, I have Grizzlor, and I have this right here is Merman. You got the Mattel logo down here, Hazards and all of that other stuff also available. But this box art, I absolutely love right here. Let's see what's on the other side. Beautiful box art of Merman on the side right there. As you know, I'm a big Master, Master Universe fan, and I love the Masterverse line more than anything because it is a combination to me of um, is everything Bagel Almonds. Wow, really? I'm gonna eat those on camera too. I might eat them later on. Okay, so if you've seen the package, again, the artwork is absolutely beautiful right here. And it's done in this package where as though you can, if you wanted to, stack them side by side, thus so, and have them, you know, like a nice little diorama going on, or like, you know, like a collection image going on, as you can see, right there. And you can line them up as thus so. So we are going to burst open Merman, Merman first. Oh yeah, legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom with the barcode over here. If you want to scan it, just pause the video or later on, just you know, take a picture of it, whatever you want to do right there to get the barcode. Now, as far as opening the package, usually their packages are very easy to open. Now, some of the Joes with them doing that uh, so-called, what do they call it? Being environmentally friendly when it comes to um, when it comes to doing the master version of doing their figures and stuff, it's, it's, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. Hold on one second. Let me grab a knife and I'll be right back. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am, I will show you, I am wearing a Master Universe shirt, as you can see, right here. So, you know, I like to get the little running theme going on and stuff like that. I miss my Twitch frog. This is not the same. Yeah, I know you like the other one. 
Okay, so we open this guy up over here. Da, 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 da. Box right there, nothing inside, as you can see. We're gonna throw that over there. We got some pretty much like Stonehenge type graphics going on in the background right there. We are gonna cut this guy out of the package. Let me be careful. And again, like I tell people, I like the Masterverse line because it harkens back to the 2000X line of action figures that I absolutely enjoyed and loved for the time that they were out. All right, now Moment Alpha Package is looking great. It's looking great. But as usual, you know, I like to go over the accessories first. So we're going to get the accessories going first. And he has his. Wow, this looks good. This looks real good. I'm liking this because it's easy to come out of the package and I don't have to go through a whole bunch of nonsense like I did with the Joes. Okay. Now, as you can see right here, it comes with this. Now it's done in a, it, you have a little bit of wash on it, but it's done in a, it's pretty much, it's crustacean sword, right? I like the way that they stylized it now. So it looks a little bit more menacing. It looks real good. As you can see right there. Let me make sure this camera is focusing correctly. There we go, right about there. There we go. And this is a great looking sword right here. Done it in a hard plastic, as you can see. There we go, gotta focus. There we go. Nice hard plastic, nice crustacean sculpting going on in it right here. Looks like a bone at the bottom and everything, as you can see. Looks really, really good. Loving the sculpt of that. Then you have his hands. Have they done any 2000X designs in Masterverse yet? Kind of like, because they have to, oh, believe it or not, they, I think they have to get permission to do some of those because that was done by, I think, Mike Young or whatever the case may be. So they're trying to get like, it's, a, it's not because it is their brand, but being that He-Man was kind of like up in the air. Because you notice like now you really don't see He-Man and She-Ra together. But being a He-Man is kind of like up in the air. It's more of a licensing thing. Because at one point, Mattel was just letting everything go. Like just selling anything to anybody who bought it. Now that they see the brand is doing good. Yeah, the barnacles look real good on it. And you have his webbed hands right here. Now there's no wash or anything on it. But it has a peg on the back and everything like that. So that you can get some mobility with it. You can swap these hands out in his hand. And it's done in a nice gold paint. If you can see. If you can see, it's done in a nice gold paint in his two fists. As I told you before, I think all action figures should come with a fist. All right. Then that is it for his accessories, which I don't mind because that's all Merman should really have. It's not like he's a G.I. Joe or anything like that. Now we are going to go into the figure and this figure looks absolutely amazing. I will be doing some comparisons with some of the figures, not all of them, even some Matt, even some Motu classics that I have back there. Merman looks really good. I love the sleek humanoid design he has going on. Face sculpt is on point, if you ask me. I really, really like his face sculpt. As you can see, you can see his um, chest plate is pretty much like a crustacean body armor going on. You have like a translucent plastic pendant in the middle of his armor. Loincloth looks perfect. It fits Merman perfect. It looks as though it is it is like some seaweed or like a form of seaweed going along or fish, um, fish fins going along his crotch area. Yeah, he does look good. I like him, Den. Hey, what's going on, Den Geek? Look, great to see you. Great to see you. He has his nice shin guards going on right there. And it, as you can see, there is a different coat of paint. There's a different scope of paint going on. Beautiful scope. Loving the feet that they put on him. The webbed hands look great. They pretty much harken back to the cartoon where so it is like a thin glove that he has going on. As you can see right there. It is a thin glove that Merman has going on. And yes, you can, I think you, yeah. If you want to, you can pull the armor off, but I'm not really gonna do it, but I am gonna do a quick comparison with the one that I didn't like too much because even though I have him, and I do like some of his armor bits a little bit better than this one right here, but both of them I like, but I do like, I will be buying some extra armor to put on this figure right here. This was the original one that they released first. This is him pretty much down on the outs and stuff like that. Doesn't look, you know, like you can tell like he's seen some battle, he's missing an eye, everything, he has scars on his body, you know, pretty much. Now I do like the um the shin guards that he has on. His gauntlets look real good on here. 
I like the blade that he has. But I love this one. Yeah, Merman is one of my favorites too. He's one of my favorites too. I love this one right here. And yes, I do have the Motu Classics version, but I'm not gonna run down. I only bought up a few Motu Classics so that you guys can see them, all right? But he does look really, really good next to his counterpart right there. And again, this is a marathon. We've only got holes on the bottom. This guy looks good. Now, as far as articulation goes, he has the typical articulation that you're gonna get with most of these figures right here. Head can go all the way around, but you know, due to the armor, and you can pop this off. Hold on. You can pop the head off to take off the armor, does so. Now, if you want to, which, it was, which is what I'm going to do, take this head off, put it on this merman right here, and there you have pirate like a merman with the armor. Now, I could have put it on a little bit more neater, but I'm telling you, I like it. I, I like the way they did this merman. I love the Master Burst line. Oh yeah, of course, that's what I just did. See, look, you can switch between the two, which is good. Now, I just put up a short yesterday. If you guys are trying to um, pop the redhead onto the Tiger Force body of, um, of Outback from G.I. Joe Classified, all you have to do is boil that shit. Because what they did was they changed the peg, and I, and I digress, they changed the peg hole inside. They made the one for the, for uh, what's his name? Uh, great hair outback tiger force outback they made that peg hole and the peg big as hell and the one for regular outback the one for regular outback is small as hell they made that so that you wouldn't swap heads but all you got to do is just boil it you know boil it to a nice degree but make sure you don't burn it or like melt the plastic off or anything like that and quickly as soon as you take it out pop it right on top of the tiger force body and it stays there it, it actually fits on better than the original head the whole yeah and so you can swap the parts but this right here again a lot of people don't like the masterverse line because they don't like the like more adult look to it me myself i absolutely love the masterverse line and yes i will be buying a separate piece of armor off of ebay to put on the other merman because now that i saw this merman with the armor on i absolutely love it weapons fit in his hand pretty easily Yeah, I do that sometime with my figures to get a weapon in. Weapon fits in his hand really easily. I don't see anywhere where you can store his weapons, but you have multiple hands there that you can peg in right here, as I showed you before. And this guy looks good to me, I'm sorry. He's, he doesn't feel flimsy. Construction isn't lousy or anything like that. Yes, the pose I got him in is a little bit vanilla or cheesy, but you can get tons of poses. And yes, they have a lot of articulation with these figures. You can move the head up and down. You do have a swivel on the side. The head is on a ball joint, as you saw. You have, you don't have any butterfly joints over here in the shoulders or anything like that, but you can get a swivel at the bicep, double hinge elbow, as you can see. Twisting and pivoting at the wrist, as you can see. Leg split is real good. Thigh cuts are very good. Double hinge knee, this guy is fully ready to go. He has nice pivoting in the ankle right here. He looks really, really good. I am liking this merman. So what we're gonna do here, and again, that face sculpt is, is to die for. I'm actually like both of these now, because now, especially knowing that I can swap the armor, you know what I mean? Swap weapons, hands, and armor. This is gonna be amazing right here, amazing. And yeah, you can see like the sculpting and the belt, and no, they're not the same body sculpt. This is not the same body sculpt as this one. This one is a bit more beefier and chunkier. And I love the, pretty much like the, the I would say like the regal or royal looking shin guards that he has right there. Feet are real good and everything like that. He is done very, very well. Loving the spikes in the belt and the turquoise colors that he has going on. The belt looks very good. Now it could have been a little bit more wash in the loin cloth, but at the same token, at the price point that they charge for these figures, I'm actually happy that what with what they give us. I mean, I don't know, a lot of people talk bad about the Massiverse line. I think the Massiverse line is absolutely amazing. I love the look. They, they do different sculpts. Even if they use the same body, which is pretty much like the running gimmick when it came to the Massiverse figures and stuff, so on and so forth. But he looks good. He looks good. 
no wash or anything in the chest plate but if you know how to use a brush you can add some yourself and yes the chest plate is made out of a like a, a rubbery plastic so i like that in this because like you can easily maneuver it you don't have to melt it or anything like that you can really get some mobility going on right here body sculpt on him as you saw is very good and again like i said before it's not the same body sculpt it's a completely different body sculpt this guy is bigger than this one it may look the same, but it's not. Trust me, I'm holding it in hand. It's a completely different body sculpt. And yes, Kenny, it has the crotch area. It has the solo plex area that you like, which is pretty much kind of like the, the the rotation ball joint in the crotch in the um ab area. So yeah. Then a geek says, "I love how Motu has always encouraged customers." Exactly, exactly. They actually encourage it. Exactly. They pretty much make these figures when you really get them in hand. They're modular. Very modular. Even when we were kids, like besides the legs, like the top parts, you could always switch the arms off, pull the heads off and stuff like that. I mean, they don't want, you know, of course, they're not going to tell you to do it. But yeah, you can customize these figures very well. I love the sleek build that he has. He looks really, really good. So we're going to grade this guy right now. I give I give this Merman. Merman for me is getting a, well, you know what? It's grading time. You guys let me know what you grade this. One through five, one being the lowest, five being the highest. What do you, what would you grade this figure? Now, mind you, Merman is looking really, really good in my opinion. Loving the sword. Everything on him looks real good. Space sculpt is great. Could have had a little bit more wash, but it, you know, for the price point, you can't complain. You can always take a brush. Like me, I customize, all my figures get cut. Like if I really like the figure, they're going to go through some customization. Me, myself, I am giving this figure. I am giving this figure a five nerd pins out of five. I really like this Merman. I love the take that they, he is a bit of the modernized version, the 2000X version, and, and the original version. 4.5, yeah, I got you. All right, you got a 4.5 out of um, Den of Geeks right there. He said, I, I'd go solid 4.5. Exactly. I agree. I agree. Four, the diaphragm articulation. Exactly. I get you. I get you. I know a lot of reasons why people won't give it a five because of the wash aspect. Because it could have had a little bit more wash. But I'm looking at it from the figure. And yeah, it's made out of durable material. This does not, nothing came loose out of the package. He's sturdy. Weapons hold in his hand. Everything is solid on him, as you can see. Nothing is falling off of this guy. I absolutely love it. I love it love it so yeah we got maybe one more minute for somebody to vote if after that the crowd has chosen that it is a four 4.5 my vote means nothing you guys are the viewers out there so you get to grade the figure in the meantime i'm going to be grabbing grabbing some other figures for you guys to look at and again ladies and gentlemen i want to give a big shout out to count kenny all right apple martini gives it a four Apple Martini gives it a four. Loving the hit, loving the um picture, of Apple Martini. I really like it. Then a geek says, the only reason why I've been for four for five because I don't have him in my hand to examine him. Yeah, I know. And that's another thing, too. With these Masterverse figures, who's ever whoever is doing their product imaging over there has no idea how to pose these figures because when you get these figures in hand, they're actually prettier than what they are. More of more, they're actually prettier and better looking in person than when they're in the package or like the little um, advertisements that they have on um, Target or whatever the case may be. This is a good figure. If you're a Master Universe, Masterverse fan, definitely pick this up. Or if you're just in the Origins, pick up a few Masterverse figures and see how you like them. I absolutely love the Masterverse line because of the posability, the articulation, so on and so forth. The list goes on with this. And I love the detail that they get these figures. They look absolutely gorgeous. We're going to give him one more spin around and then we're going to move on right there. Look, and again, that could have had a little bit of wash, but I still like the detail that they put into on his armor right here. I think it's great. Oh, all right. So you're out of work now? Or you playing hooky from work? He said, yeah, the paint knocks it down a peg, but solid. Exactly. Now, with most of these Masterverse figures, you're not going to get too much um, wash or anything like that. But as far as the detail, the sculpt and everything like that, and they don't as much as you would think they would try to reuse a lot of um, body sculpts, they don't. They do not. I'm telling you. Like, 
you know, I, I'm, I'm surprised. I, and I absolutely love this line. When they were talking about canceling it, I got a bit depressed because if you watch one of my videos, I was up there like, man, if they do it, do it, they do it. But I do like the Masterverse line. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. They did a great job with that. So we're going to move on to, let's see who we got next. Mm, let's do, you guys get to choose. Are we going to do, do Clamp Champ or the new Masterverse Skeletor? It's your choice. Whoever yells out first gets it. Clamp Champ or Masterverse Skeletor? Clamp Champ or Masterverse Skeletor? Your choice. Clamp Champ, you got it. Oh no, Apple Martini said Skeletor. She got it first, because she came up first. So we are going to go with Skeletor. And this must be from the new cartoon. Now here's the thing. I don't have to like the cartoon to like the figures because whenever I collect, I, I imagine when I was younger, when I would like, perfect example with G.I. Joe and Transformers. When I would play with them, people were getting killed. I was blowing them up, shooting holes through them, everything. So I, I wasn't a big fan of the Revelation cartoon, but I did like the designs of the toys and I loved the artwork and animation that went into doing the cartoon. But I did not like the storyline at all. So with me, I don't have to like the story to collect the toys or the figures, but I could go into a big spiel and peel back the onion on the reason why a lot of toys are failing is because, and I'm gonna give, make it short, is because when the movie or the media property that is associated with the toys does not sell, the toys won't sell. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. So over here is Skeletor right here. This is a new Skeletor. I think this is looking at his belt right here. This is probably pretty much when he had his affiliation with Hordak, or he was pretty much Hordak's apprentice right there. And yes, at one time, Skeletor did work for Hordak. But of course, being Skeletor, he broke away because Hordak was playing him out. Hordak was playing him out. So over here, we got the typical window box right here. And it says right here, over here, it says Netflix and original series. You have the Massiverse logo, Revelations and Skeletor and Mattel over here. Beautiful artwork of Skeletor right here. This is pretty much when he was younger after his battle in the Great War, right here. Over here in the back, over here in the back, it says Skeletor, evil lord of destruction. Skeletor's relationship with Evil Lynn dates back to when he was but a vagrant, but a vagrant living in the gutter. Let me, let me focus so you guys can see it. When she was but a vagrant living in the gutters, a servant of Hordak at the time, Skeletor rescued Evil Lynn from an angry mob, enhanced her magic, and gave her a place to belong, not out of any sense of heroism or chivalry, but rather out of a desire to expand his own evil power. Exactly. And that's how I like, if you remember this one, if you remember the Mike Young books and like the, um, I forgot the name of the company that was pushing out for the um, 2000 X line, Skeletor was literally going around beating people's asses or sometimes rescuing their ass and shit like that for them to be his ally. Yes, he does look nice. And yes, because if you remember this one, it's in a book called Icons of Evil. You found out how Trap Jaw got like how he is. Now, there's many different lores that go with um, how Trap Jaw got like that. There's some, you know, the original lore was like he was an inter interdimensional, like scavenger pirate that came through our, into our dimension, you know, a cyborg pirate that came through our dimension and started wrecking, you know, the Eternian dimension and started wrecking shot. Then there's the Mike Young one. And again, I actually love the 2000X line. Where so uh, pretty much him and Skeletor fought because his name was Cronus before he got turned into what he is. And he fought Skeletor for power because Evil Lynn was in love with Trapjaw before he became Cronus, before he became Trapjaw. His name was Cronus. And he tried to go against Skeletor and he had a big battle and Skeletor whooped his ass. Skeletor whooped Beastman's ass and put him in line. I'm telling you, most of the people that Skeletor had following him was through him whooping their asses. And no, Skeletor is not like the one you see on the cartoon anything like that the ones that i've read back in the day from the books and the modern and some of the books like the modern books he was a brute he is a very nefarious individual motu usually has amazing box art no different than masterverse i would buy prints of his of this box art and hang them in my home for sure oh, absolutely yeah and yeah look at this artwork the artwork is absolutely beautiful this is when he was younger you see the other figures within the line right here you got clam champ skeletor webster prince adam who are also available 
Skeletor logo over there. You know, you got some graphics as with the other boxes. 30 points of articulation barcode at the top. On the side, you have some more box art of him. And on the bottom, you have legal mumbo jumbo going on down there, as you can see. Let me hold this still. Come on, focus. I don't know why it's not focusing. Sometimes it does that. Let me see. It's weird like that sometimes, but yeah. There's a, oh, I had it. There we go. But hopefully you can see the barcode. If not, I will just send me a message and I'll write it down for you. But the box art and everything on here is beautiful. And it goes, of course, it's in a window box as most of them are coming in. And I absolutely have no problem or issues with it. So let's bust this guy open and see what's going on with, I would call this Apprentice Skeletor. An Apprentice Skeletor is actually looking very, very good. Throw this box over here. Inside, you know, you got the little stone craggy uh, graphics right here. Hey, Mattel, you want more money? Make some canvas prints of box art and I'll drain my bank. Absolutely. It's like some of their boxes, I try to tell people the art that they put on their boxes. Because, you know, a lot of, you know, back in the day, um, oh, God, what's his name? But a lot of it was like hearkening of the box art that you got was like Frazetta type work or you know I think Frazetta did one box art or he did some of the one box art for Massey Universe if I'm not mistaken please correct me back in the day back in the day and yeah Frazetta's artwork is absolutely beautifully fantasy driven barbarian um artwork I absolutely love it let's cut him out of here cut him out of here And again, I don't mind that Master Universe come with a lot of accessories. They shouldn't have a lot of them. Like even when we were kids, they, they, they just had like, you know, a sword or whatever the case may be. And yes, I like I like I like the story of when He Man was just like a barbarian. When he was just basically a barbarian. Now to make it a bit more palatable for kids, especially when a cartoon started coming out and everything like that, they made it to where as though he man was pretty much like a Superman deal with like, you know, power, grace, so, and I tolerated it. I didn't think it was bad, but I do like to harken back to the old He man days that I used to get comics when you would purchase the action figures. When you would purchase the action figures, you would get a nice little comic with it. All right. All right, so we have all of his accessories out right now. Put that to the side. Wow, this skeleton looks great. I'm going to show you this in a minute, but it looks really, really good. And the construction of them, it looks very good. Man, oh man. All right, so over here, he comes with two hands. He comes with two hands, as you can see right there. There is no... Let me see if I can straighten this out. Really good. Yeah, that's better. As you can see, there is nice sculpting in the hands right here. Pardon my big, big clunky hands or big clunky fingers and stuff like that. You know, two fists right there, got sculpting in the fist and a peg on the back right there. And you can plug those in. You can pull the hands out and plug them in. I do like this Havoc staff right here. It is a different Havoc staff, all right? It is the same design as the one that they gave the pretty much like the medieval. Yeah, I know, but somebody was telling me he did one. Did, Zeta did one for Master Universe. It was somewhere I was reading that, but other than that, uh, what's his name? The guy who created, who created, um, what's his name? Did prototype designs and everything. But this Havoc staff looks great. Translucent head right there and a nice red. There is some wash on it. If you look really good, there is some wash on the skull right there. And there, this is really good. You got some sculpting in the handle all the way down the hilt. It's looking real good. They did a great job on this and it's done in a nice solid hard plastic no weak materials or anything like that now as far as the figure this is the figure and i think he looks great yes the soft good on here is pretty much of quality soft good it doesn't feel real spongy or anything like that i'm loving the head sculpt that they put on skeletor right here looks really really good you know what i gotta take some of this light out maybe but i wanted you guys to see maybe that's better
and that's too much light. There we go. And he looks good. Very nice sculpt. Everything is turning out real good on him. He looks really, really, really good. They have to snap. Yeah, they're very good. Believe me when I tell you. See, the Massiverse line gets a very raw deal because a lot of people look at them because of the, the way that they show them on the product advertisement. They look terrible. But when you get them out, they are quality. And yeah, this guy's, and I didn't mean, I forgot to mention it. This guy's coming in at seven inches. He looks good. I'm loving the Hordak detail or the Hordak emblem on the belt right there. You lift this up, you can see pretty much his allegiance to Hordak right there, which is his cowl or his chest, his chest guard. You have the Skeletor chest, you know, fringes on the side right there. Everything looks really good on him. Shin guards are real nice. Yes, he is using the same feet as Merman, but Merman is using the same feet as him, which is the going motif when it comes to most of the Master Universe figures. But a lot of their body sculpts, they may look the same, but they're not the same. The Roman type skirt looks real good on him. As you can see, they sculpted in textures on it. It's done in a, a hard vinyl. It's done in a hard vinyl. It looks real good on him. The cape, you can take off, but I'm not going to take this thing off so that I have to put it back together. But you see there's a clasp on the back so that you can get all sorts of, you know, you can take the harness off or on. <laughs> she said, Sarah Thomas says, am I the only one who thinks he and Mumra wear the same outfit? No, they don't. If you look behind me, look up at the top over Voltron, you'll see, you, you'll see, they just have the same skin tone in a way. But they're, yeah, they're, their armor does mimic each other in a way. But if you say, if you are to say that, then Mumra copied off of Skeletor. But this looks good. Now that face sculpt is to die for. I absolutely love the face sculpt on this Skeletor right here. As you can see, it is a very nice face sculpt that they gave Skeletor right here. Darken in the eyes. I don't know if it glows in the dark or anything like that, but the hip, the, the hood that he has on is a nice plastic hood. It's done in a nice solid plastic. It looks very, very good. Again, if you are a Master Universe fan, definitely give the Masterverse line a try. You will not be disappointed. I absolutely love this figure. And yes, he's coming in at seven inches as with most of the Masterverse figures, but he is a nice figure right here. I'm loving the nice big feet that they give him. I love for my characters to have big feet. I don't like, especially barbarians or whatever the case may be, I don't like for them to have small feet. I don't. And it's not just because I got big feet or whatever it is, but I like for my villains and superheroes to have feet that are equivalent to their body or big feet. Looks glowy. Yeah, it does look like it glows in the dark, doesn't it? Not sure, but I... I'm not sure, but I'm going to check it out. No, it doesn't glow in the dark. That's just how what, that's just how the plastic that they made looks on him. But you can see some nice sculpting in there. He looks really, really good. Darkening in the eyes and everything. And of course, he comes with that newer diaphragm that a lot of people, Kenny loves this diaphragm. Me and myself, it doesn't matter to me, but he does come with the new diaphragm and so on and so forth. But he is a good looking figure. I'm loving this look right here. And I have at least like four different versions of Skeletor and Masterverse version going on around. And yes, he has the same articulation that you get with most of the Masterverse figures. He is looking real, real good. I am loving this line. The hood right here, you can maneuver. You can take this hood off and maneuver, but I don't want to go through. You know what? I'll take it off. Here we go. It's just that I'm going to have to go through everything to put it back on. But look, and it's held on by Velcro, as you can see. And you can unravel it and have him in his pretty much vanilla pose. Now look, this is another thing too, before you snatch this off. It is connected on a peg by his head. Look, which is cool, which keeps the cape from falling off. So you can get all sorts of styling and everything like that with the hood. This is how he looks without, without the cape and hood. And I think he looks real good. We're gonna put the Havoc staff in his hand. Thank you, Eddie, thank you so much. Thank you for, so much for tuning in. Don't forget to, to subscribe. And yeah, he looks great. I am loving him. I, I love the Massiverse line. I don't want them to stop making it. I love the Massiverse line. Different body sculpts, 
uh, different figures, different sizes, you know, even the first line that came out. Yeah, some of the face prints that they, some of the um, face sculpts that they had on them were a little bit like odd. Like He-Man's face looked like he was smirking or like he was tasting a lemon or something like that. But, you know, as they went along, it started getting better and better. He looks good. This is how he looks with the Havoc staff. And yes, you can get the double hand action going on with him. And this is pretty much Apprentice Skeletor right here. I absolutely love it. And thank you so much for tuning into the marathon. And as you can see, the paint apps on here are very clean, very clean. And you can see there are different textures up in the hood as well. So yeah, I'm liking the Skeletor right here. Absolutely loving it. And again, thank you very much, Mouse Type, for donating this to the channel. As you can see, he looks really, really good. Pick him up if you can. If you're a fan of the Masterverse line, Pick them up if you can. Thank you so much for tuning in, Eddie. Now, as far as articulation, it, it's the same thing. If you want me to go through the articulation with all these guys, just say, yeah. If not, we'll go to the next one. But it's the same articulation that you're getting with most of the figures. And what I want to show you is that they are they do do different body sculpts versus the old Origins line. This is one of my favorites right here. This is Too Bad. Too Bad looks great completely different body stuff and i love this figure i love too bad i'm loving the way they do these i wasn't able i think i did i do a cloth pull for you guys i think i did do a cloth pull um for you guys if i'm not mistaken this is skeletor now again i didn't like the story i, I love the design of the figure much bigger than skeletor as you can see even though i think he should have been way bigger but i'm loving this figure right here the Masterverse line, to me, to me, is absolutely phenomenal. I love it. I love it. I know the Ram Skull does look like it glows, but it doesn't. It doesn't glow. It doesn't glow. Yeah, believe me when I tell you, Den. Pick up one. You can get some for cheap, for like, they have them on sale sometimes. Check on Amazon. You know, start out with the first wave. See how you like it. But each wave got better and better and better. I used to collect statues, um, Deflex, but I'm not big on the statues because I love to do the posability of my figures and stuff like that. I love doing the posability when it comes to figures. So, you know, I'm not a big, oh yeah, Kenny. I'm not a big, I love statues, don't get me wrong. I have a few in my living room. I have one in my living room. You know, one of, um, you know, Lobo, because I'm a big fan of Lobo from DC Comics and um, a couple other ones, but I'm not a, statue collector i will get some ones if i find them to be overly beautiful or like uh outstanding but if you ask me there are some figures now that they that they do that are pretty much statue quality in terms and they're posable kenny look what i got a hold of i think i showed you but i did get a hold of another one okay so we'll see i'm going to do a production on this one and open it up to see if the um if the quality if they improved the quality because i waited they said there was another batch that came out and the figures were better so now so now we are going to do oh we didn't score this guy what is wrong with me yes i do collect hot toys yes i do yes i do on a scale of one being the lowest five being the highest nerd pins what would you grade this figure and of course, you, the audience, although I may give it uh, whatever score, your audience, the, the audience determines what score it gets. One through five. Okay, Apple Martini gives it a five. Apple Martini gives it a five. Looking forward to seeing if he does the fly five dance. Martin gives it a five. And this is without him with the cape. This is with him without the cape, and I took the cape off for you guys. I think he looks great. I'm loving the design of this. Apprentice Skeletor looks absolutely amazing. And yes, there is some wash in the um, Havoc staff, as you can see. I love the emblem and the belt, the Hordak emblem and the belt. And yes, this is when Skeletor works for Hordak. What are your top five favorite IPs? Mm. Top five favorite IPs in terms of like um, toys, action figures, pop because I play it all, I, I do it all. I love action figures, video games, comics, pop culture, 80s, 70s, 80s, sci-fi, the whole spiel. 
So you got to be a bit more specific, specific in what you want me to tell you, which is my top five. Okay. Sports card D, D for five, and Detour. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to give me a subscribe, guys. So far, we got fives running down the block with this right here. We got fives running down the block. Kenny gives it a 4.5, and I know why you gave it a 4.5, Kenny, because of the lack of wash. I get it. A look at the textures in the loincloth. Everything looks good on this guy, and it comes with a nice soft good. It's not a cheap one. If you saw it had Velcro on it, it is not like the, the Terry stuff. You see, I'm pulling in everything. Nothing's tearing. Nothing's tearing. I would say my top five old IPs are Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Transformers, um, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Star Trek, Aliens. But then again, you if you were to raise it up a bar, it would be like Silver Hawks and it's just so much, so much stuff. So much, so much stuff. I can't really name like be specific about one, but I love sci-fi, pop culture, all that stuff. Next, and again, thank you so much for stopping through. So that Skeletor gets, Apprentice Skeletor gets a five. Apprentice Skeletor gets a five. Okay, top 10. Top 10, wow, let's go. Warhammer, Warhammer 40K, Star Wars, um, anime, but, but, but then again, on the anime, well, like we would have to break this down. But yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you, all right. Let's see. Robocop, Star Wars, um, Warhammer 40K, uh, G.I. Joe, Transformers. Um, oh, Ninja Turtles, what the hell is wrong with me? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, original Eastman and Laird stuff. Um, DC Comics, classic DC, classic Marvel. You know, not none of this newest stuff. I'm just not into it. I'm just not into it. Um, hold on. I thought I turned that off. Ghostbusters. I'm, I mean, the list goes on, bro. The list goes on, Deflect. The list goes on, brother. We could do a 24 hour stream. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, Flex. It, it, it's too many i i you gotta understand i loving this stuff between my mother my uncle and my grandmother i grew up loving this stuff and i thought as i got older that i would you know just outgrow it or whatever but as i got older and i was making money and i was able to afford stuff i got more stuff so what you see here and this is just some of my stuff that i have and i'm very appreciative for the stuff that i am that i do have you never see me up here bragging saying like oh and i got this and i got that i'm blessed to have what i have you know what i'm saying and yes, I do have other stuff as well. If you look behind me, there's a Masterpiece Devastator back there. And there's a, um, um, a um, what do you call that? Masterpiece Optimus Prime. There's Predator King back there, but that is from a third party company. And again, when it comes to my Transformers, I will grab anyone that looks good in my set. I don't just go for Hasbro Transformers because there are third party companies out there that do an amazing job of representation when it comes to the character. Yeah, top five anime. Hmm, let's see. Top five anime, boy. Hmm. Hokuto no Ken, Fist of the North Star, aka Fist of the North Star. Oh boy. Um. Wow. Top five anime. Wow. Too many. Sprigon. Ninja, Ninja Chronicles. Um, there's so many. Dangayo. Um, Gogo 13. Um, what else? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. JoJo's Bizarre. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, the list goes on. It's just too many. Robo, Matt Cross and Robotech. Um, Volts B. It's just too many. It's too many. Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga was very good. Vinland Saga was damn good. That is a damn good anime. Vinland Saga is good. Um, what was the one with the girl that was a knight? Oh my god, that was a good ass anime. Hey Mika, Mika, can you share this to the toughness to my um 
to my personal page on Facebook, please. On um on Facebook. Thank you. Share from Tuffner Toys on Facebook onto my Facebook page, please, babe. Thank you. Oh God, and Vinland Saga. Tara, what was the name of that anime that we used to watch with the girl? She was a knight and she kept dying and getting killed and shit. Oh God, so many. Elfin Lead is another good one that I love. Boy, the list goes on. Crying Freeman. Guyver, yes, Guyver. How the fuck can I forget Guyver? I love Guyver, pardon my language. Just letting you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is what? What is this show? This show is, okay. So that right there absolves me from when my mouth gets out of control, okay? But yeah, I absolutely love Guyver. Um, Devil Man, I love, I love Devil Man. Devil Man, another one of my favorites. MD Geist, yes. He's reminded me of all of it. Like, I don't have any top five. There are some animes that I absolutely love, and I know I've forgotten some now. Um, do you, does anybody remember this anime named Bao when we're gonna get back to the marathon? Bao, the biological, biological armament organized humanoid, I think it was. It was called Bao. Playmore, yes, Playmore, that's the one, Playmore. Playmore was good. I didn't like Ghost in the Shell. I really didn't like Ghost in the Shell. Now, for that time, did I think it was innovative? Absolutely. But I just didn't like it. Now, Akira, Akira, on the other hand, I absolutely love Akira. I could watch Akira over and over again. And I'm talking about the original Japanese, the original English dub, because there's been three dubs since then. And contrary to popular belief, I'm not a big, I, I like Dragon Ball Z, but it's not my all-time favorite anime. You have to understand, I was exposed to anime that was pretty much like, by the time Dragon Ball came around, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z came around for me, I was already graduated onto like the more mature adult themed anime. There's a lot of them that have come out. I even like this anime, even though it was under the veil of hentai, it was called Guy. But yeah, I, I, I we could be all day on anime. So, let me, where did I put them there? Where did I put them? Oh, here he is. Absolutely. The original English dub for Akira was amazing. Now, when they redubbed it, it sounded tar terrible. Okay. So, which one you guys want to do? We doing Clamp Champ or Prince Adam? Clamp Champ or Prince Adam? Whoever comments first, that's who I review. Clamp Champ or Prince Adam. Absolutely, Flex. I love comics. I love comics. I love manga. The whole spiel. Adam. Okay, so we are going to do Prince Adam. Ladies and gentlemen, check out my mod, Shmika. All right. Yeah, sports car, you was too slow. Make it quick on the um, pickup. But if you want to, we'll do Clamp Champ next. All right? And then we'll grade Prince Adam. Okay, so you know it comes in a typical window box that most of the Massiverse figures. And again, Mouse Type, thank you very much for donating this figure to us right here. For Tuffner Toys, a review right here. Massiverse, 30 points of articulation. You have a barcode up here. Graphics up at the top. Massiverse Revelations, Prince Adam, Mattel over here. On the side, you have, oh boy, this artwork. I don't know how I feel about this artwork on the side, but some may like it. Me, myself, I think it's a little bit weird doesn't this it's not their best art on the back the artwork is it's good but i just don't like the way i don't know maybe it's me and over here you have a little bio and it says heroic secret identity of he-man he-man did it he finally defeated skeletal but in doing so it cost him his life and secret identity his friends and family are shattered by the true man was actually prince adam all along after coming back from preternia prince adam had a lease on life and another chance in to make things right with those those he loves the most and here we have adam right here and on the back you have the other figures within the line we just did skeletor over here we are going to do all of these guys before we go because we got a bunch of we got we got a, we got a little bit more to go ladies and gentlemen at least another hour or two of action figure busting open and talking and discussing things and you see the other figures within the line right here you got clamp champ skeletor webster and prince adam mattel logo at the bottom hazards so on and so forth right here paper and everything legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom right there and i think that is it for the package prince adam over here what does it say uh heroic secret identity of he-man 
right there. And that is it, I think, for the package. And you know, the window box as usual. So let's bust open this guy and see what's going, see if he's worth the scratch. But that's the usual logo going on or the usual phrase going on when I do these action figures. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Over here, the box, nothing in the box. Typical graphics that you get with the Masterverse line. Like, you, have to say, you know, if you want to get a little diorama thing going on. Yeah, exactly. You know what, Steve? The, you know what, Flexo? The reason why He-Man is so corny is because they made him corny. Because when he originally came out, Flexo, he was a barbarian. He was supposed to be like a counterpart because you have to understand, at that time when He-Man was being released, you had Conan the Barbarian come out with movies. Conan the Barbarian came out with a movie and everything like that. And they saw that kids liked it. Even though the film was rated R, they saw that kids liked it, liked um, Conan the Barbarian. So what did they do? They had to come up with their version because they saw that it was a money maker. It was a money maker. Kids was loving Barbarians. For me, I instantly fell in love with Barbarian. Any kid loves muscles, swords, and big men fighting monsters and shit like that. That's what it is. Now, once they tried to, once they licensed it out and um, pretty much, because uh, originally He-Man was just a barbarian. He-Man was just a barbarian. He wasn't, he came from uh, a land and his vest and sword gave him power. But it was pretty much like a post-apocalyptic land, which in turn, you ask me, and uh, you know, you ask me, it came from them watching Thundar the Barbarian. Because Thundar the Barbarian was out before He-Man. Let's get that straight. So when people start talking about like, oh, but he meant, no, Thundar the Barbarian was out before he meant. And the reason why they took Thundar the Barbarian off because they felt as though it was a two bar. It was, if there were some episodes that were very more, very dark and gloomy and very, you know, like it, it pretty much like made the future seem like we fucked up and it's just all over the place and it's messed up, you know? And it did have some dark overtones to it, you know? But um, Mattel, did the He-Man thing and then they gave it to Filmation and Filmation, although, hear me out ladies and gentlemen, I do like the fact that Filmation did put He-Man to the forefront, but I did not like the cartoon that much. I really didn't. If anything, I liked the music. I love the music on the um, Filmation He-Man. And you know, a lot of people may be like, yo, how dare I? But it's the truth. I didn't really like the He-Man cartoon that much. I maybe have liked the first, first few episodes, but after that, I didn't really like it, but I did, I would watch it and I would like to see some of the characters that they would put on there. But you can tell, even as a kid, I knew that they were softening it up compared from the comic books that I used to get when I used to purchase the Master Universe action figures. Because when you would get the Master Universe action figures, you would get a nice comic inside. And some of them were pretty much kind of like, how can I say? They were heavily fantasy driven, but they were adult themed in a lot of ways. They were adult themed, believe me when I tell you. So, I mean, you know, when the cartoon came along, they made it silly, they made it goofy. And I understood, I understand at that time they had to um, pretty much like make it palatable for kids, but I enjoyed the original story of He-Man. I take any He-Man story. Okay, Miss Kingdom, take care, baby. Thank you for tuning in, sweetie. I hope you're feeling better. Let me know how things are turning out. But I originally, when I saw what they were doing with the cartoon, I was excited when I first saw the advertisement. But you can tell, like, you know, as time went on, some of the characters wouldn't even look like the toy characters or anything like that. Because when you really think about it, Man at Arms, when they released him on the um, in the cartoon and filmation version, he didn't look like his toy counterpart. He didn't have a mustache. I mean, he had a mustache. He had two um, guards on his um, on his arm and leg. Where, so the toy version that I picked up as a kid, what made me love him was the fact that he had, like, you know, armor on one side and the other side was free of armor. And they were like barbarians, but like, you know, mixed with fantasy and science fiction. Okay, Deflex1 says, favorite DC character and favorite Marvel character. Favorite DC character is Lobo, hands down. And I'm talking about 90s Lobo. You know what I'm saying? Lobo is my all time favorite DC character. Next is Shazam. Um, favorite Marvel character. Now that's kind of hard because I do have a lot of Marvel characters that I absolutely love. But my favorite Marvel character would have to be like one that for a minute there, I wanted everything and you would be surprised. Before that, it was like, you know, the, some of the classic ones. But my favorite Marvel character is Cable. I like Cable. Cable is one of my favorite Marvel characters. So, moving on. We are going to pull Prince Adam out. And let's be careful with this because some of this stuff looks like it can fly away.
Let me keep be careful with this razor. Luckily, I haven't damaged any plastic on this guy. But then again, my next favorite, really be honest, is Swamp Thing. I love Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing is one of my favorites. Absolutely love Swamp Thing. And although a lot of people didn't like the new 52, I enjoyed the new 52 because of the fact that it was more adult themed stories within. Because honestly, really, to be honest, DC has always had more gripping and hardcore stories than Marvel had. Marvel, like, all right, they would, don't get me wrong, Marvel had some good books. They have some good books, especially like the, um, the Punisher series. But um, as before Lobo came to the forefront, Swamp Thing. I didn't like, that's the only thing I didn't like about, um, I didn't like about the new 52 Lobo, is that they were making him look crazy, and they tried to revert him back to a teenager or anything. I love classic Lobo with the biker outfit on, you know, but before that, I forgot his name, he used to go before, before he used Lobo, but he was with the, um, he used to um, harass, the, what's his name, Earl Doc and all of them. But when they turned him into a biker and Simon Beasley was drawing him, Ed Giffen and Simon Beasley were doing the work on him, absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. One of my favorite Lobo books was the one where he fought um where he fought Santa Claus and the other one where he um where he uh he fought Santa Claus and he fought Brother Feces. And when he got turned into a woman, when they kicked, when they sent him to heaven. And he got kicked out and they sent him to hell and he got kicked out. I used to love that stuff, man. Loved it. Oh, another one of my favorite Lobo books is one the jail. I like the one when he went to jail. The one when he went to jail was real good. The one when he went to jail was real, real good. Yeah, me too. I like nine I like nineties Lobo as well. That that has that's just him. That's just him. Lobo isn't supposed to go with the time. He's supposed to stay as you know, you know. Now, I do like some renditions when different people would draw him. They would have him with, um, you know, like sometimes he would get like a cybernetic implant or something like that. Or like, you know, he'd get like something like different different stuff. And yes, Lobo does have powers of regeneration. Another power he has of tracking. If he find if he, if he's another thing, what they consider a power is that if he makes you a promise, he's going to keep it. So if he says he's going to kill you, he's going to eventually kill you. He killed everybody on his planet so that he could be the only one. Um, what else? He has a healing healing factor. Is it as fast as Wolverine's? No, but he does have a healing factor. Um, he has a weapon. He has a power called the Endless Satchel, where as though he can do, like reach in his reach and reach behind him or reach in any of his bags and stuff and pull out any weapon from anywhere where he has it or whatever case may be. He has a very bad drinking and drug problem. He pretty much is um. He's the best. Oh man, yeah, they're not gonna like if they were to do it now, they wouldn't be able to make Lobo. It would have to be rated R. If they don't do it rated R, then it just wouldn't work. Now, as far as um Prince Adam, he comes with two swords, which is cool. One is a glittery translucent sword, but as you can see, it has glittery paint on it right here, which is real good. Looks real good. Then you have this sword right here. And it's um, sculpting in the handle, as you can see. Nice silver paint going on in it. Nice sculpting in the sword right here. It looks really, really good. <laughs> and then you have these two hands right here with pegs on the bottom that look really, really good. Sculpting in the hand right here. Two fists right there. Then you have his alternate head right here. This is him laughing and smiling right here. And I think the face sculpt is great. The face sculpt is great. Now, the reason why I do like this Adam, now the box art, I'm not too fond of, but the reason why I do like this Adam and I do like the concept that they took from the 2000 X line is because they're looking at it from a realistic, realistic perspective. Same thing with the filmation situation Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. He beat the daylights out of Superman. He beats the daylights out of Superman. He can live in space. He can live and like go on through the vacuum of space and stuff. Most Kazarnians can anyway. 
and um what else he has um he has kids all over the universe some of them even tried to kill him before you know because um lobo lobo just does what he wants you know what i'm saying he loves space dolphins he loves animals and stuff like that but he is ultra violent he is extremely ultra violent and and he will like you don't really want to send lobo to get you because he's going to bring you in dead or alive more than likely dead Face sculpt is very good right here. Loving the, loving the face sculpt on here. You can see like he has a mouth going on, like they did the teeth in there. Let me bring this over here. Focus it in, hopefully. Yeah, hmm. It's the light. Okay. All right. But you can see the face sculpt right there. It's about to focus. There we go. And it looks real good. Two separate pieces for the hair. No wash in the hair, but it's two separate pieces. And you can see it has a nice smile on his face. They did the teeth real well. Side profile, good peg hole on the bottom right there. So you can pop that right in there. As you can see, it's two separate pieces. Again, the hair is done in a nice hard yellow plastic. No wash or anything on the top of the head. Um, as far as the weapon, I think I showed you this sword already, but I wanted you to see it again. And it's a nice translucent, translucent sword with glitter in it, which is kind of like cool or whatever the case may be. All right, now as far as the figure right here, I am liking this figure. I love the 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 fact that they pretty much took after the 2000 X line and making him younger and smaller. Because in the filmation cartoon, I mean, come on, who couldn't tell that wasn't He Man? You know, face sculpt I absolutely love right here. Nice soft face sculpt right there. Nice side profile. He looked young and skinny. I like that. So that when he does turn into He-Man, you're not going to be able to tell. You're not going to be like, no, that's just um, that's just Prince Adam. Because in the filmation cartoon, all it was was Prince Adam with just pretty much like um, no tan and just a pink and purple outfit on. This right here, I absolutely like. I love the tunic that they have going on him. Everything looks real good. I love the flared, the flared shirt, pirate shirt that they have on him looks real good with the white great sculpting great sculpting in his belt right there you can see beautiful paint apps nothing is bleeding on this guy nice studs within the belt i love the shoulder um the shoulder um the um the squared shoulders that they have right here buckling out everything looks good on him boots look real good you can see that they have wraps around them pretty much got that the colonial look around the with the top is flaring down looks like done in a nice brown paint to mimic leather or whatever material they're trying to mimic textures within the boots as you can see holes on the bottom right there real good figure i'm liking this prince adam i like the fact that he is completely different from the original one yes i do collect storm yes i do if you look well you probably can't see it from here but if you look up and over to the this way up to the top there's a bunch of storm figures over there I'm in the process of reorganizing this because I don't think I'm buying any more Black Series figures because Star Wars is meaning something different to me. And it was kind of sad because one of my friends, Martin, sent me a message and he was pretty much like, yeah, I'm getting rid of all my Star Wars stuff. And the thing about it is that bothered me is that that's how we met. We met off of Star Wars. But, you know, I, you know, I still have him as a friend and everything like that. So. But yeah, this is a good figure. Again, you may not like the design of Adam, but I like this design because it's more believable. The face sculpt is beautiful. I actually really like the face sculpt on Adam right here. It's nice and soft. He looks like a young a young man. Side profile is real good. The eyes are nice and even and everything like that. I love the way they did this. I love this right here. And they got this design basically from the 2000X line. Yeah, the paint is nice and clean. That's what I'm saying. You got some, you know, sculpted in wrinkles in the tunic and everything like that. He is looking real good, even across the back. The paint is nice and clean. That's what I'm saying. I try to tell a lot of people, like, just give this line a chance because it's really, really good. And the articulation is a typical articulation that you get with most of these. You do have somewhat of a waist twist, but because of the construction of the, um, the tunic right here, it blocks it. Now, can you take this off? You can take this off. But you, you, you're going to have a problem putting it back on. I can tell you that right now. But you can take this off. There is an ab crunch inside of here. No, is it? Yes. It has the um, um, diaphragm that you like, Kenny, right there, which is real good. And he, he's well done. No, again, no butterfly joints. Now, there are some figures they'll give butterfly joints to and some that they don't. But 
these guys always come out stiff. I haven't had one Mo2 character coming out the package from Mattel like stiff, even when it comes to, and again, you know, many people may not like this movie, but I did like the toys. I don't have to like the toys. I don't have to like the show or the movie to like the toys. So, you know, the figure is real nice. You got some thigh cuts there, leg split, arms go out this far. You got bicep swivel, double hinge knee. As you, no, no, single hinge on the ball joint for the elbow. But you have articulation in the wrist, as you can see right there. Double hinge knee going on right there. Twisted the calf. And you got some ankle rocker going on. So this guy is real good. As far as the head tilt goes up, head goes up pretty far, as you can see right there, down, whatever the case may be. You can get the exorcist going on right there. And you can swap this head off. And the piece, the parts come off real easily and go on real easily with these Masterverse figures. And like my friend said, like, uh, what's his name that was here earlier said, that they make it to where like, they, they don't, I, they're not saying it, but you can customize these figures and swap parts. I've seen people literally pull arms out, put them back in, so on and so forth, make new figures out of one, so on and so forth. So yeah, and this is him with his happy face right there. Now as far as the sword, can you get the power of grace spell going on with him? Let's see. Let's put this sword in here. Now I don't see anywhere to put the other, to put the other sword, but yeah, you can get the power of grace spell going on. Let's put the serious head on him. And you can hold, make it seem like he got two swords. Look. You can't get him doing the power of break, though. And I like this. I like the way this Adam looks. I like it. I like the nice, sleek design going on. And yes, you can turn his head completely towards the sword so he's saying by the power of great skull it looks really really good now i know some people may not like this adam because they want muscular adam but to me the reason why i like the massiverse line because if it's, it's a more believable type of um have a collection video yes i have a collection um I have playlists for each action figure or series of action figures that I do. So, you know, on YouTube, you're on YouTube right now. Just look through the playlist. I got tons of them, tons of them. I got, I got Silverhawk playlist, Super 7 Silverhawks, and G.I. Joe Classified, He-Man, Master Universe Classified, Transformers, you name it, it's up there. I even have a NECA section, Marvel Legends section. Now, I don't review Marvel Legends as much as I used to because I'm not really happy with the brand right now. So, yeah, but yeah, this guy, I think he looks good. I think he looks real good. So you guys let me know down below what we should score him. One being the lowest, five being the highest, you know. And yes, the weapons fit in his hands very securely. Nothing's loose on this guy. Out of all of these figures, none of them have come out loose as you can see. Hey Karen, how are you? Great to see you. But yeah, Prince Adam is looking really, really good as you can see right here. I think he looks great. Loving the design in his face. Nice clean sculpt. Face sculpt is beautiful right there. He looks real, real good. Again, everything looks nice and clean on him. Paint apps are phenomenal. His eye, his eyes are nice and even. Eyes are nice and even as you can see. Yeah, they did a great job on Prince Adam. He looks good. Eyebrows are done well. Eyes are nice and even. Mouth, nose, beautiful nose. Everything is nice on this guy. Now, they could have put a little bit of wash in here. They could have been put a little bit of wash in the hair, but I don't think he's bad. So me, myself, I'm going to give Prince Adam. Exactly. I agree, Eddie. I agree. And again, you know, when I go in these groups, like, you know, it's weird with the toy community because you'll go in a group sometime and, you know, they tell, they, you know, it's like if you don't agree with everything that they're saying in there, you get kicked out and you get pretty much, um, he, he, you get, you get kicked out or you pretty much get like ostracized because you like, you know, I was in this one Motu group and they were like, oh, Motu this, Motu that, Motu, Motu, Motu. All right. If we all love Motu, I thought that's what this group was all about. And I told them I enjoyed the 2000X line, 
more than anything and i enjoyed like the masterverse line i love the way prince adam was pretty much more believable being a young slim man or young man being turned into a big muscular man because of filmation and you better not talk anything about filmation you say one thing wrong about filmation oh my god i mean you would think like you just like like touch somebody's booty hole or something like that and they just lose their mind like you know i said I didn't really like the Filmation cartoon too much as I was growing up because I was exposed to the, the comic book growing up as a kid. You know what I'm saying? And I told him that I didn't like the fact that Prince Adam looked just like He-Man. He just looked like he was light, like pale. Oh, you're not a true He-Man fan. I was like, all right, whatever you think. Right? And then, you know, like, you know, it just, it just, it just, it just turned into a bunch of nonsense, immature nonsense within the toy community. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, this is, I'm liking this right here. So what do you guys grade this guy? One through four, five being the highest, what do you grade him? I give him, I give him a 4.5. Because I do like the sculpt of him, he looks real good. It's more of a believable, the paint apps on him are perfect. Everything looks really, really good on this guy. What do you give him? 3.9, okay. 3.9 is believable. 3.9. What else we got? One through five nerd pins, ladies and gentlemen. Five being the highest. One being the lowest. Apple Martini gives him a three nine. Let me see. I'm gonna grab some other figures in the meantime. Apple Martini gives him a 3.9. Three point seven five. Eddie Dever Dever gives him a three point seven five. Flexo gives him a five. Looks like he's gonna be in the threes. Nobody else saying anything. I really like the figure. I think he's nice. I think he's real nice. Karen gives him a four. Karen gives Prince Adam a four. All right. We got maybe one more minute for all the votes to come in and we will leave. Uh-oh. Diving, in, diving into eccentric guy's orb gave it a four. Karen gave it a four. So we got a 3.9, we got a 5, 3.75, and we got two fours. Okay. So it seems as though we got seven, eight, nine. All right, so a four it is for this guy. Prince Adam is a four. I like the design, I like the sculpt, I like the youthful appearance of him. Paint apps are perfect, the articulation and detail, and the quality of this action figure is absolutely off the chain. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I'm going to go with the four. Four is unanimous because we got a five, we got a 3.9 and 3.75, four fours. So that's closer to a four than it is to a five, but therefore he will get a four. All right. So next up, we are going to do a choice right here. And I think, um, didn't I say I was going to go with your... Um, I think Eddie, Eddie, didn't you holler out Clamp Champ next? You hollered out Clamp Champ, Clamp Champ, Clamp Champ next, right? I got to scroll back, but I think Eddie hollered out Clamp Champ. Was it you? Somebody hollered out Clamp Champ. I'm gonna give you to the count of 10 if you can't remember who, what, which one you called out and I'm gonna let the audience choose. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half, nine and a quarter, 10. Okay. So I don't, the person who called out before, I think they had said Clam Champ, but they didn't yell it out. So again, Apple Martini, I don't know. Apple Martini doesn't want to see the black guy for some reason. 
So we won't do Clamp Champ right now. She wants to see Web Store, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she wants to see Web Store. So we're gonna do Web Store, all right? Now, Web Store was one of my favorites too. Web Store was one of my favorites. He wasn't seen that much in the cartoon, in um, in the um, in the uh, in the filmation version, but the 2009. No, well, the 2000X version, he was seen a lot, and he was literally a monster, all right? Now, it comes in a typical window box that you get with most of these right here, but he is from the new Eternia series. Now, new Eternia series, they're basically having a new take on, like, some of the classic figures, whatever the case may be, or the concept. They, they do, like, the concept art of these guys right here. And, you know, typical window box, Mass Universe, new Eternia web store, Mattel right there at the bottom is done this one is done they're pretty much like a darker brick right here you have the graphics up at the top i started cutting the top i'm sorry guys. and you have beautiful artwork of webs being creepy as usual right here on the side i love the artwork they give these guys and yes you have some nice artwork over here and it said many moons ago when castle grayskull shattered into the seven winds pieces of it fell into web store's web now the devious trap master lies patiently and waiting on the isle of arachnia he knows that it's only a matter of time before any and another greedy adventurer wanders into his lair seeking treasure or even the power of race skull itself and you see the other figures within the line right here you got clamp champ you have skeletor web store and prince adam we have already done pretty much like skeletor prince adam we are on web store clamp champ my apple martini the blue guy the, the blue guy gets his chance yeah right and you have mattel logo down here over here at the bottom, you have some act. You have some. Oh, pretty much. They give you instructions on how to put on this backpack and everything. Okay, cool. All right. You have the barcode over here, legal mumbo jumbo. And that is it for the package. We open this guy up. And of course, you know, it's done in the window box right here. Ages. Did I tell you the ages of this right here? 30 points of articulation, ages six and six plus right there. So we're going to open this guy up right now. You know, you got the typical craggy rock graphics going on in the inside right there let's throw this over here and we are going to pull this guy out of the package let me cut him out very carefully um uh, let's see we got that 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 i don't want to cut none of the paint but if it happens it happens you know gotta break a couple of eggs to make an omelet right and again, these figures come out of the pack very stiff. The quality of these figures, and no, I'm not being endorsed by Mattel or anything like that. They don't they don't really like my type of reviews because I'm honest with my reviews. I don't lie. I don't say that, oh, this is the best figure ever, and no one is garbage, whatever. Because what's gonna happen is you, my viewers, are gonna come back to me and be like, look, I picked that figure up, it's a little bit garbage, bro. I didn't like it. You know? And yeah, and as usual, we're going to go over his accessories, all right? Now, I did pull this guy out, and he's very stiff. I mean, and again, they're made out of good quality plastic. I, I don't... It's stuff like this is the reason why sometimes I get mad at the G.I. Joe stuff. Because this is coming out of the package looking real good. And I'm loving the hues and the, um, the coloring that they use on it. Now, as far as the accessories, I'm going to cut this one out. Hey, how are you, Miss um, Miss Burns? What's going on, Tina? Great to see you. He said, made in Vietnam, I know cheaper to produce than the China is quite telling. Yeah. Cause like um, me and Chokes, we were up there discussing it. And honestly, I believe that sometimes they have different companies do like their GI Joe toys, like the classifieds. Cause you have some that are li literally immaculate. And then you have some that are just like straight garbage, like dollar store material type of um, toys. And you're just like, what, the what happened? All right, so we are pulling these accessories out right here. It's great to see you. It's great to see you, Tina Burns. How are you feeling today? All right, this goes over here. And it comes with a nice little hook. And there's some, there's articulation within the hook, as you can see right here, look. And it's something in a solid blue plastic. Not much wash you're going to get with these figures. You're not going to get much wash with these figures, but they do 
come with great accessories. This is his classic like trap anchor hook gun that he had even in the original line right here. It looks like you can move this handle up and down. Oh, did I break it? No, you can move this handle up and down. All right, just be careful. Oh, that's great, Tina. That is great to hear. I'm glad that you're feeling better. I'm so glad that you're feeling much, much better. And as you can see right here, has nice sculpting in the weapon. A little bit of warping you can see going on there, but you if you know what to do, no, is that the way the gun is? That's the way the gun is. I thought it was warped, but no, that's the way his gun is. Pretty much like a curved, like a double barrel. And can you put this in here? Yes, you can put the... Yeah, it's like a harpoon slash, um, like a harpoon. Yeah, it's like a harpoon slash anchor gun right there. You have any one third scaled statues? I think the only one I have that's one third is a Godzilla one. It's a Godzilla statue that's one third. It's a big boy. But yeah, the um the articulate the detail on this is real nice. Space age looking gun, but this is what he had even in the Motu original or ori origins line or the original Motu line right here. But yeah, you can fit it in here. I just did a sloppy job. It fits in really snug. Everything is real tight. Nothing is falling apart as you can see, you know? And it, and it rests right in the top right here. As you can see right there. And he comes with one open hand that is sculpted very nice. You can see some veins in there. And he has a fist, I tell you. I think all action figures should come with a fist. All action figures should come with a fist, all right? And then, that is it for his accessories. The pegs on the back, we know it has like the bend right here so that you can get some articulation going. All right? Now, this guy is actually really, really nice. I'm gonna let you guys be the judge, but again, I like the design of him. And yes, those hands can come in and out. Before I show you this guy, I am going to put his weapon in his hand so that you can see it. And yeah, the plastic on these are very, very, very stiff. They don't use cheap plastic on these. I don't know, like, whatever plastic. And you know what? It started with the new attorney line. That's when they started, like, changing the plastic up. But yeah, this guy looks really, really good. He looks really good. I'm liking the way that web store looks right here. More sleeker design, more believable design. Right here. Loving this look right here. Face sculpt is good. Everything is good on here. Loving the loincloth especially. I love, that's what I always loved about Master Universe figures was the loincloth. It's so many things because I love the barbarian theme. I love the the, the sorcery miss, miss, um, meets science theme and everything like that. Everything looks good on this guy right here. Nice solid backpack right here. You got the shin guards going on right there. Emblem in the middle of his chest going on. You got the multiple eyes. And yes, the eyes are done in a translucent plastic so you can see. You see? The eyes on his head are done in a translucent plastic. Great face sculpt going on with this guy if you look real good. He has a very nice face sculpt going on. Even from the side. Got the nice pointy ears and everything like that. You see like there is some scaling across his head up at the top and along the back. They did a good job. And again, it's not that much washing in this guy right here. Reflexo says, you collect robots? Absolutely. If you look over here, you'll see some robots. If you look back there, you'll see Voltron or either Go Lion if you want to call him. If you look back there, there's a Masterpiece Devastator and a Predator King. Get Fire, Masterpiece Optimus Prime, Mega Masterpiece Megatron, the list goes on. And if you look over there, wait, let me, that's Big O. Yeah, I love robots. Love robots. Got tons of them. Got tons of them. Absolutely love robots. Yes, I do collect robots as well. But yeah, I'm really liking the design on this guy right here. He looks really, really, really good. And yes, the pincers are posable and movable right here. You know, great sculpting on this guy. He looks really, really, really good. I'm telling you, he looks really, really good. Love the loincloth. Red paint going on in the belt right here. Looks real good. 
loincloth has some wash right there love that the feet are nice and big you got a hole on the bottom so on and so forth good design good sculpt face sculpt is beautiful and he has a typical articulation that you are getting with most of these massiverse figures right here hey can go all the way around no butterfly joints again on this one but he is fully posable you got bicep swivel right there double hinge elbow if you look right there he does have a double hinge elbow and as you can see he is holding his weapons very well there is no problem has a little bit of a side tilt if you want to get that going right there twist at the waist leg spread is good thigh cuts as you can see right there double hinge knee and you see i'm manhandling this guy nothing's happening to him twisted the calf and ankle rocker going on right there so he is doing real real good they did yeah that's the, yeah that's big o that was big o that's big o over here if you look right there that's big o that is big o so yeah webstar is looking really really good paint apps are nice and clean that's one again if you're into he-man if you're into mass universe and the only thing you like is origins trust me give the masterverse line a try they are better quality than the origins figures some of those origin figures i'll show you what i'm talking about all right let me find one for you yeah i love big o absolutely i collect spawn absolutely yes i do as a matter of fact i'm going to be doing uh, um I must have messed up and down the paper, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about, okay? Now, this was given to me as a gift. Oh, yeah, I love Big O. I love Big O. It's showtime, Big O! Big O, it's showtime. I used to love Big O. This right here is a retro stuff, all right? I've outgrown this. I don't like the big head stuff anymore. You know what I'm saying? Now, this was given to me as a friend, you know, and I told him, I said, I would keep it in a package. He said, they got a whole bunch of these. I was like, yeah, but I'm not really into the retro top type of stuff. I like the modernized, more mature look of these figures right here. And I try, a lot of people don't understand what I'm talking about because they just looking at it as all the same thing. You look at this right here, and then you look at this right here. Which one do you, not again, for me, which, but, but, but which one do you think looks better? This one, the old stuff, or this one? You're, you know what I'm saying? I like the more mature humanoid like realistic look of the modernized stuff. I don't like the older stuff. I don't. I don't like none of the retro toys. I don't want to play with none of the retro toys. I think the only ones that I really were sorting after that were old were the um, sectors, sectors, and maybe um, this is the retro stuff. I'm not big on the retro stuff. I'm not. I'm not. This is the modernized stuff right here. This is the modernized stuff right here. I like this much better. I'm sorry. You know, kill me, shoot me or whatever. Hell, I like this one right here. You tell me that look, you tell me, you tell me this looks better than this. All right, exactly, look at this. Look at that, look at that, look at that head, boy. They're more proportioned correctly. I don't let, when I was a kid, I liked the old He-Man stuff. I liked the old He-Man stuff, but like now that I'm older, I'll be looking at that old stuff, I'm like, Oof. just like when it comes to Transformers, I don't like the older Transformers stuff, I like the newer stuff. You know, it's just, it's, that's just how I feel about it. You know, everybody has their preference on what they like, what they don't like. It's very few old figures from the 70s, 80s, 
70s and 80s that I like over the newer, more modernized looking stuff of that, of that brand. But yeah, Webstar looks really good. And I showed you articulation on him. This guy looks very, very good. They did a great job on him. He's looking real cool. He's looking real nice. Backpack, as you saw in the um, direction, the backpack can come off. Let me see. I don't pull this thing. There you go. You can yank this off. And look, they even sculpted in little diodes and all that other stuff, whatever the case may be. Because from what I understand, Webstore was an outcast within his people and he had his legs, some of his um, legs clipped and all that other stuff because he was just a bad person. He was just a bad mutant or whatever the case may be. So he's pretty much like an outcast even within his arachnid people. But I'm loving the design of Webstore. Webstore looks really, really nice. Now we are going to do a comparison with him. Hold on, next to his Motu Classics. So I do have the Motu Classics version, right? Oh, here he is. All right. Now you gotta mind me because this was in storage in the basement, but I thought I would bring up a few just to like do some comparison. Now, again, the reason why I would take the more modernized stuff because this one came out around about like 10 years ago. This is the newer one. I like them both, right? But as you can see, this one is a bigger version than this one, but I do like them both. This was a Motu Classics version. You got to mind, mind me. He's a little bit dusty. He was put up in a box. And I think the face sculpt on him is a little bit more, you know, menacing than this one. But I like them both. Now, the coloring on him, I like more. But I do like them both. And yes, the new Mataverse version is much taller than him. It's much taller than the original one. Or like the Motu Classics one, as you can see. But I do like them both. is the backpack and everything. You know, I like them both. I like them both, but I do love the Massiverse line. I love the more mature and like, um, yeah, everybody likes the Motu Classics version better. Everybody does. Everybody usually likes the Motu Classics version better. Okay. So I showed you the articulation and everything. And the loincloth is done in a nice vinyl right there. Look, I showed you under his skirt. You have some sculpting in the belt, which looks really good. The sculpting on the chest, um, on the chest, um, chest harness looks real good too. You got like his little, I don't know, spider insignia or whatever, wherever he comes from. And if you look real good, yes, if you look real good, there's some translucent, there, like there's translucent plastic within within his insignia on the front of his um chest harness. This um, texture is put into the harness on his chest, so it looks like it's a leather or a, like pretty much craggy, cementy type of um, material he has going on. They did a great job. The cybernetic pincers on his back look real, real good. And of course, the shin guards, everything nice, clean paint is done very, very well. It's done very well. I really, really like it. I think Webstar looks great. Webstar looks really, really good. And I did show you his articulation. Yes, I did. And I showed you his head can go up, but so far right there. And yes, he has the diaphragm right in the middle right here. Nice nice build nice sculpt right here and yes i think he's reusing the one of the skeletor sculpts if i'm not mistaken because there's been three or four skeletor sculpts but he looks really really good i love the way they did the nails could he use some wash absolutely but they did put some wash in his loincloth but i do like the build of him he looks really really good the silver paint around his skin guards and everything like that look really good holes on the bottom nice deep how a villain should look or a barbarian or a mutant should look right and you look you can take the vest off or the chest harness off but i'm not taking it off i will not be doing that today because it takes a minute to put this stuff back on but you can take it off it can come off and be put back on but yeah as far as that face scope we're going to give them one more look i do like the fact that they use translucent plastic for his eyes so when the light hits it it light it lights up if you can see real good if the light hits it it lights up face sculpt is real good teeth are nice nice and even eyes are nice and even i'm loving the extra eyes that they got at the top but yeah loving this guy let's see if we can get some two-hand action going on with the weapon yes we can we can get some two-handed action going on it's a lot toy i can bite it so
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Again, you can't do this with the origin stuff, but you could do it with this Masterverse stuff. Look at this, boy. Look at this. There's some nice two-handed action going on here. Look at that. I'm going to trap you. Look at that, boy. That, look at that. Look at that, boy. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. So, so far, it's, it's grading time right here. It's grading time. No, not really. No. I, I, I open up all my stuff. If I keep it in the box, it's because a friend got it for me. But other than that, I keep it. I open up all my stuff. Why am I going to keep it in the box for? I'm not going to keep it in the box. I'm not. I open up all my stuff. I'm keeping it in the box for what? For what? I want to... I, I, I like to pose my stuff. I like to put it up on the shelf. I like to hold it. I like to see how it looks in hand, so on and so forth. Keep it in the box for what? What, for collectors to sell it in the future? No. The way stuff going ain't nothing going to be worth anything. Open it up, play with it, have fun with it, to each their own. Now, you will see behind me, there's a Skeletor on the wall right here. That's the Filmation one. I just didn't want to open it. Now, some I will decorate the wall with, but no, I'm opening up all my stuff. All that stuff. You see, I'm busting open all this stuff. I'm opening up everything. I ain't keeping nothing in the box. You only live once. Now that's just me. That's just me. I know some people that collect, they don't even know what they got in the box. They just put it up and be like, oh, I got that in the box. I said, did you check? I was like, did you check? And you know, one time he opened the box, there wasn't nothing in there. No, but I don't really, I will buy, if I do buy one to keep in the box, it's, it, it's just in case if the other one breaks or whatever the case may be, but I don't keep none of my stuff in the box. I open it up. I like opening up. That's why. That's why the channel's called Bust um, Tough Nut Toys. Bust it open, not bust it open. And yeah, so this. Let's grade this guy. Let's grade this guy. I am going to give Web Store. I'm gonna give Web Store a four. Let's see what you guys rate him. And in the meantime, while you're grading Web Store, I am going to grab some more figures. I love the way they, although I know this is a manufacturer's um, thing over here, I like the way the line is around his face right here. Four, we got Apple Martini with a four for Web Store. We got Apple Martini with a four for Web Store. Okay, Karen with a 3.5, there we go. Karen has given it a 3.5. Karen has given my man, Karen has given my man a 3.5. Okay. Shamika gives it a 3.8. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Shamika, when are you DJing again? You gotta, like, I mean, we need you, man. We need you. Shamika has given it a 3.8. Okay. Eddie has given it a 4.5. So we got, so far, we got a four, we got a 3.5, 3.8. Oh, okay. So we got a four, we got a 3.5, a 3.8, and uh, what's that? A 4.5. So far, we're juggling closer to four than anything else. We got uh, maybe one more minute, and then that will be the end of the voting for Web Store. Okay, so hopefully you can get that laptop running. Exactly, like why keep it in the box? I don't understand. I can see back in the day, but like the way things are going now, like, like trust me. Toys aren't selling how they used to. They're not. They're not selling like they used to. What I'm into is like a niche hobby. Not, not many people are doing it, and it's newer generation. They're not buying toys. They're not. They're not. You might as well just open it 
might as well just enjoy it, read it, whatever the case may be. And then if you're going to sell it, sell it. Like me, when I get when I get swamped with too many action figures, I sell some off. I don't sell the stuff that my friends get me, but I will sell like the ones that I have that, you know, I'm pretty much like, whatever. Let it be some somebody else will enjoy it. I don't keep I don't keep all of the action figures that I purchased. Like when they get old or like, you know, or like, you know, newer stuff comes out. That's I I get the newer stuff to replace it. Like in a minute, I'm going to sell my Motu Classics. You know? All right, so the score is in and And it seems like my man web store is going to be a four a four because we got a 3.5 we got a 3.8 we got a four and a 4.5 okay or either you know what we'll do a 3.9 web store is going to be a 3.9 that's a little bit more fair than anything else so next up we are going to choose between Let's see. We can do. Let's try. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, he's a, he's a, he's a like. You, that's what I'm saying. Toy collecting is weird. The figure that you wouldn't think would be worth something is sometimes through the fucking roof, and then the figure that you think should be worth something, it's just like regular. Regular is I don't know what. He said, yeah, I'm in the UK and Amazon, he's 53. Yeah, yeah. So, next up, we get to, who gets to choose? We're either going to do Clamp Champ or Jitsu. Which one? Whoever mentions it first, we will get it going. Jitsu. Chokes and Holes did Jitsu. All right. Now, back in the day, I'm gonna be honest with you. The reason why I, man, I absolutely loved Jitsu. I had that figure so much. I played with that figure so much the way his his hand went from gold to just white. I'm telling you, I played with Jitsu forever. All right, Jitsu was one of my favorites, along with uh, Whiplash. And I played with that character forever. All right, so. We have Jitsu over here, right? Jitsu is within the new attorney line. You see Mass Universe, Jitsu, Mattel logo over here, and Mass Universe, 30 points of articulation. You got the barcode at the top, graphics, six plus 40th anniversary. It was within the 40th anniversary line right there. Um, window box, as you can see. Jitsu on the side, it says Warlord. What does it say? Oh, Jitsu, Master of Martial Arts, right there, Jitsu, Jitsu. Legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom, barcode over here at the bottom. If you can't see it, let me try to let this camera focus. Mm. There we go, come on, there we go, right there. All right, you can see the barcode right there. If you want to scan it, if you want to write it down, there you go. Later on, pause the video, write it down. 30 points of articulation, Masterverse. Ages six plus, and we got some box art is not bad on the back. Box art is not bad on the back, right here. And it says Jitsu Master Martial Arts Rescue from Point Dread Prison by Prince Adam to aid in search for the Isle of Grayskull. Jitsu, the mysterious man from Gretori, knows more about the legends than anyone else in Eternia in, than Eternals. Mistrusted as a thief, the master of martial arts shows his true colors, aligning with He Man in the fight. To protect attorney and the universe. What? This is when the fuck did Jitsu become a good guy? Jitsu's Jitsu's not a good guy. As, as a matter of fact, at one point he took over Castle Grayskull. I mean, um, Snake Mountain when Skeletor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What what are they talking about? Jitsu is not okay. Let me mistrust it as a thief. The mass of martial arts shows his true colors, aligning with He-Man in the fight to protect Eternia and the universe. Jitsu has never been a, bit, a good guy. Like, 
and most of the lords that I've known, he's always been a bad guy. So I guess, you know, I don't know. I've never known Jitsu to be a good guy. He's always been a bad guy. As a matter of fact, yeah, he was a conqueror. He was called, I thought it said warlord, warlord of master, warlord of whatever, and it's master martial arts. So uh, evidently he's going to be a good guy and maybe the next, or like this, the new rendition of how they're depicting Jitsu. Jitsu is not a good guy. But, but I guess this is what they're doing. But my Jitsu is always going to be a bad guy. Him and him and uh, Fisto used to go at it all the time. In fact, he was the one who pretty much dethroned Skeletor at one time, or took over Snake Mountain in the way. You know, you got the typical graphics inside of the box right here. Put that over there. And let's see good guy Jitsu. What's going on with him, all right? I don't remember Jitsu being a good guy. I don't. In no lore do I remember Jitsu being a good guy. None of it. Jitsu has always been a bad guy. He's always been a scumbag or like pretty much like, you know. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember Jitsu being a, um, I don't remember Jitsu being a, um, what's the name, being a good guy. I guess that's what they're doing now. I guess they wanted to make it. Now, and it's not, I don't want you to think I'm thinking of him badly because of, um, them changing the war with him, but something let me see. Mm -hmm. okay so let's go into his accessory and we're going to get into the figure because i got an issue with him yeah the flex up the yeah he was a conqueror that's how i remember jitsu i mean maybe Maybe something has changed or whatever the case may be, but I remember Jitsu being a bad guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't remember him being a good guy or anything like that. He was always a bad guy. Let me get all of this stuff out today. I don't remember Jitsu being a bad guy. I don't remember him being a good guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jitsu always been a bad guy. Now, over here, you have his orange blade. And it has gold paint on it. I'm, I'm a little bit perplexed and shit like that. I'm a little bit thrown off because I'm not used to him. Like, if anything, I thought he was going to be an evil warlord of martial arts and stuff like that. And you see there's some sculpting in the handle, but it's done in a translucent orange plastic right here. You have some gold painting around the hilt of the um of the blade. And then you have this samurai mask right here, which is done in a nice vinyl, solid, the same translucent orange plastic, but more vinyl, silver teeth. It's pretty much like the demon mask that the samurais used to wear. And you have this hand right here. You know now I'm all right so we're gonna get into the figure now now I'm having a little bit of an issue right now. I don't know if this is how they want him to stay because if so this is absolutely terrible all right yeah the mask is nice you know what, what you say somebody say Somebody said, if you are a real fan, you know Jitsu is a good guy now. Just plus. <laughs> yeah, right? Now, you see, I'm like, it, it threw me off. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I understand the lore has changed, but like Jitsu was a known bad guy in the Master Universe. I don't know why they decided to make him or what they're doing now. He said, nah, mine will remain a conqueror and a killer. Yeah, that's what he was. Like, it's, Apple Martini says, maybe it's a misprint, maybe valuable. Or he fell in love and got soft, I guess. Martin says he loved the mask. I like the mask too. I like that mini statue from years ago. Exactly. Exactly. The one that NECA did, the mini statue, right? It was a statue figure. 
It was real nice. That one was nice. Yeah, like I don't I don't know. I'm thrown off. Okay, now as far as detail, like all right, we got into the accessories right there. And of course, you know, you can possibly fit this over his head, but this right here, I'm having a problem. Those arms better come down. But I do like the classic um jitsu um chest armor that they gave him. Face sculpt is a little bit weird. You know, I, I should have known something was up. Now, what I don't like is the fact that this hand is too small. Jitsu's hand is supposed to be exceptionally big, whatever the case may be, because he had gotten his hand chopped off from doing some lawless things and it made him a conqueror. And he replaced it with this right here. This hand is supposed to be able to break and chop through anything right here. I think in a cartoon version due to like, um, due to like, you know, they didn't want to make it seem like they're being racist. They changed his name to Karate or Mr. Karate. They changed it to something. It wasn't Jitsu. It wasn't Jitsu. But yeah, now the head sculpt down here is different. I mean, not bad. But um, I'm a little bit um, thrown off. Yeah, they, they named him something. They named him Karate or Chop something. I have to look it up. If you look on the, the Filmation version, named him something else. The rope around the belt is not bad. You can fit the the blade into the sheath like this, thus so. But um, the the chest the chest plate looks okay. It's good. It harkens back. I like how they have the symbol of the um of the insect on the back right here. You see some nice um sculpting on here, orange and gold going on. Clean paint. Everything's going on real good. Nice black loin cloth. I like the rope that they put around his um, waist right here. Like he has a semi samurai armor around his waist right there. There's a clasp on the back. No wash, but you got some silver paint going on around the edges of the bottom of the um, side armor. Typical um, Motu boots that you get right here with the wraps, but I do like the black that's going on right there. Now, as far as the top right here, these arms aren't coming down. I don't see any section to where I'm supposed to where these arms can come down. Now, if it's stuck like this, this figure is the worst Masterverse figure they've made thus far. Why would I want his arms just stuck like this? Now, maybe you guys that have this figure out there know how to bring his arms down. No, no, you can't keep this. You can't keep it. This is terrible. This is terrible. I don't think you can move his arms down. Look, there's no cut along here to where the arm can go down. Look. If so, this is a terrible design right here. No. Wait a minute. Nope. I'm, I'm telling you, Kenny, I don't see any. I don't see any joint that can pull him, make him pull that arm down. Who the hell wants to figure this like this the whole time? Nah, something, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm about to find out right now. I'll break this motherfucker. Here we go. Oh, okay, yeah. But they put it. Okay, so we're about to do this one too. We're about to find out now. And it's not like I can send this motherfucker back. It's been months, like, since I had this guy. So if he breaks, he breaks. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, this is this is a this is bad. This is bad. The articulation alone. If all he has to do is stay like this, and first off, he's a bad guy. He's a good guy now. Jitsu has never been a good guy. Jitsu was pretty much like the leader of Snake Mountain once Skeletor went into space. You know the new adventures of He Man. Jitsu took over. Since when did he become like? Or maybe? Well, again, it is the new Eternia. So maybe you know that's their story with them. But um, it's an okay figure, but because of a lot of the issues plaguing him, 
one being the story two being like um and again it doesn't matter because he's still going to be a bad guy in my eyes and i'm still going to like have him under the veil of the bad guys and two that hand should be much bigger than this jitsu's hand was like massive it, he would terrorize people with it but this looks terrible it looks like it's it's small it's very small and jitsu's hand should be much bigger than this the gold paint on it is real good i love the studded like the studs that they got going on in it and everything like that but um the design on the vest is not bad i mean it harkens back to the original one and if you look it's like two dragons meeting each other right along here but um this arm okay all right it came down more all right all right, so I can't get like the, you know, the Hachiman thing going on. But what are we gonna do with this arm here? Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna try to bend this arm down. Hopefully I don't break it. Nah, I think I'm gonna break this. <sighs> oh. There we go. This thing was stiff. There, I'd rather my figures be stiff than um, loose out the package. But I I like this figure, but um, there's some problems in terms of, I don't know. I do like the, I do like the um, gauntlet on his arm over here, which is real cool. But he just looks extra regular as hell, bro. I mean, his face sculpt is okay. I'm not used to him being a good guy. Jitsu's never been a good guy. But now that I put him in form, he looks good. He looks good. But I think that hand needs to be much bigger. It's too small. His hand is too small, in my opinion. In my opinion, you know? Could be better. Could be better. I do like the design of them, you know, but um, hmm, I don't know. He's okay to me. He's not like one of the ones like I was like, yo, this one looks real good. Now the paint apps are real good on him. They're real good on him and everything. They did the roll real clean, no wash, of course. Um, face sculpt is good for what it is, you know. The chest guard or body armor that they put on him is pretty good and everything like that. Nice deco going on everything like that but the hand this looks it just looks it looks cheap you know this isn't one of my favorites right here but you guys may look at him differently and yes he has a typical loincloth going on under there but um it's all right in my opinion it's all right i i mean could have been better could have been much better you know the sheath doesn't have any wash on it or anything like that i understand they were trying to you know but it's just i don't know now, as far as articulation goes, this guy's very, he, mine came out of the package very stiff. I actually thought his arms were just gonna be stuck up there like that. Luckily, they're not. Luckily, they're not. I like the rope belt and everything. The articulation is the same as the rest of them. This one is a little bit more stiff because I don't wanna start bending them right here. I'm gonna have to heat, like put some oil on him to get that a little bit loose along the shoulders but you can see it's a bicep bicep swivel double hinge elbow as you can see double hinge knee going on calf twist as you can see and yes he does have the thigh cuts and everything like that like the rest of them leg split is pretty good you know and you can kick forward and back and all that other stuff ankle rocker as you can see right there but i'm just like eh with him he's eh meh 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 so I don't know. Um, I don't really have much to say, say, much else to say about this guy. Now the head sculpt, if it was on somebody else or whatever the case may be, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad at all. You know, everything is nice and even or whatever the case may be. But I guess because of the fact I'm used to Jitsu being a warlord, he should not be looking this calm in the face. You know, he has a very stoic expression on his face. And the hand should be way bigger than that. His hand should be way bigger than that. So. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. You guys can grade him and then I'll give you, well, my grade for him, well, for one, because the hand is too small. And yes, you can twist the hand, 
you know, you can get like some poses with the hand. It has some articulation at the forearm. But um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this guy. Maybe I might feel different, but for right now, I would give him a two. He's a two for me. He is a two. And I usually love samurai. I loved jitsu as a kid. I love them. Chokes and hold gives him a 3.5. Apple gives him a 3.5. I do like the design on the back. So you know what? I will give him a three. I'll give him a three. I think I'm disappointed because of like the, minus the storyline, minus the storyline, the hand needs to be much bigger. It needs to be much bigger. Especially given like the depictions that I've seen of Jitsu, even within like the Mike Young and like the NECA statue, his hand is way bigger than this. It was actually menacing. This right here just looks like he got a replacement hand, which is what happened to him, which is how he lost his hand. Yeah, I give him a three. I give him a three. Yeah, Jitsu gets a three. Okay, so far we have a 3.5. We have a 3.5, a three, and a 3.5. We got one more minute, and then, and then, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with it. I don't know. I've never seen Jitsu look like this. Like, you know, I like him. I like him. Now that I'm really looking at him, I like him, but, you know, I do like the armor. I think he's pretty cool. Oh, we gotta get the knock knees out of there, boy. <laughs> I like the um the feet and everything like that. I love the wraps and everything. Now that I look at him, I like him, but I have a problem with his hand. I have a problem with his hand. Yeah, he's seven inches. He's, he's seven inches like the rest of them. I have a problem with his hand. But I do like the design on the back. And I love the studs that they've sculpted into the vinyl chest plate. And you can take this chest plate off, but I'm not going to take it off. There's a clasp right there that you can unhook if you want. Now, they could have put a little bit of wash or deep, more detailing into the side skirts with the armor on it. But I do like the gold trim that they put in the bottom with the um, studs. It looks pretty good. All right. So... But you know what? That's the armor. That's the armor making his head look small. And mind you, I don't like big headed um, action figures. I don't like action figures with big heads and stuff, which is the reason why you don't. I don't like most of the origin stuff because I don't like that old look anymore. When I was a kid, I enjoyed it. Now that I'm older, I like for my stuff to look lifelike or whatever the case may be, even if it's one in fiction. So, yeah. All right. So we got maybe five more seconds and we know seven more seconds and the score for him will be solidified the grading for him will be solidified all right and that is it ladies and gentlemen he has been given a three jitsu has been given has been given a three all right so we're gonna do one more because i don't think i can go on any longer I'm getting tired. I'm not getting tired, but I'm a bit parched and I need to eat. And I ate something light today. So give me a second. Let me grab the next guy. Let's see. Who are we going to do? Who shall we do? We are going to do, it is a choice between Oh, you like my cup? Well, I just put Yeah, that, let, that lets you know I need to, um, what's the name? Thank you for liking my cup. This is my TNT cup. Okay, last but not least, we are going to choose between these two. 
which one would you rather which one would you rather rather me which one would you like for me to review master versus attorney of battle army he man or clamp champ your choice whoever mentions it first gets the call okay battle armor he-man it is for some reason <laughs> for some reason nobody want to see clench <laughs> nobody wants to see clamp champ <laughs> nobody wants to see clamp champ okay so it might be a thing where clamp champ is last all right it is what it is it is what it is it is what it is we got another day of action figure um mass universe action figures reviewing that we're gonna do so right here Mass Universe, New Eternia, Battle Armor, He-Man. All right, 40th anniversary right there. 30 points of articulation, barcode, Masterverse at the top, six plus. Over here on the side, they have some beautiful, beautiful box art of He-Man, Battle Armor, He-Man right there. I love them with the beard. This is good, look, this is a good look right here. And over on the back, we have Mass Universe, New Eternia, original designs, Designs inspired by classic concepts. And it says Battle Armor He Man, most powerful armor in the universe. Down in his powerful battle armor, General Adam sailed further than any ship in Eternos Armada in search of the mystical Isle of Grace Paul and the legendary power sword. Upon finding the sword, he says, I have the power and transform into He Man, the most powerful man in the universe. So, yeah, these are different takes on um, the Mass Universe lore because, but regardless of what. Jitsu will always be a villain in my eyesight, okay? That's just what it is. But I do love the box art right here. It looks really nice. And you see he's fighting some skeleton warriors. And it looks like some type of ghoul down there, a, like, monster he's fighting. And down here at the bottom, we have Battle Armor He-Man. We have Battle Armor He-Man, Sun Man, Hero, and Jitsu. I have these characters right there. Um, Sun Man. <laughs> Sun Man, I will bust open possibly tomorrow because I have a critique about him, not to mention... I do know a lot of the history about Sun Man and how he came into existence. Um, all available, you have each sold separately over here. Again, this beautiful box art on the side. And it says Battle Armor He-Man, any barcodes, legal mumbo jumbo, and barcode on the bottom right there. And you can pause this later on. I will keep it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we have it. And that is it for the package. Right? Right. Mattel at the bottom down here. So give me a second to bust this guy open and we'll see if Battle Armor He-Man is worth the scratch or concept version, Battle Armor He-Man is worth the scratch. So we open this guy up right here. You know, typical graphics that you get, the little craggies, Castle Grey Skull type graphics that you get right there, 40th anniversary logo and foil over here, if I didn't mention it. And of course, it's a window box, as we all know. And then, yeah, the artwork is, she said, Karen, the cup sells on Amazon. <laughs> the cup sells on Amazon. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our adorable Apple Martini and also mod of Tuffner Toys Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, give her a round of applause. Martin says, Martin says, artwork looks awesome. The artwork does look awesome on that box. Now, in here, of course, as usual, we're going to pull out all of the accessories right here. Well, you know what? I didn't even fit on Jitsu's mask before I um, got rid of him, did I? I was just so disappointed in him. I just you know, got him out the way. <laughs> but I will fit his mask on before we leave. Oh, okay. That was a hand. And it could have... Be careful because these pieces can go in your eye. Let's go, champ. Exactly. All right. All right. So we got this guy out of the package, right? Let's go over his weapons first. And he is suffering from that as well. Man. Okay, no, no, no. All right. All right. So here we go. Now, oh yeah, but I really like that face. All right, so we're gonna get to him in a second. Now he comes with his pretty much like, I'm, and I'm liking this. I'm liking this. He comes with a a classic battle shield 
and the sculpting and paint on here is very very nice yeah i don't i don't know what it was but we are going to put his mask on the sculpting in here is very very nice it has very nice paint apps going on here it has some wear on it to make it look like it's been through some battles or anything like that it can be look real good and has a peg on the back because on the action figure you can actually peg it into his forearm which looks real good and it's done out of a hard plastic but the paint on here is done very very well then you have his signature battle axe and yes as a kid he man came with a sword and axe and a shield not just a sword but as Filmation took over it, everybody thought He-Man only came with a shield. And most of the times when they drew the comic book, the comic books, He-Man had his axe with him. You know what I'm saying? He used the axe more than he used the shield. But yeah, you have, this, you have the battle axe right here done in a flat gray plastic. It's cast in pretty much a gray plastic. Not silver. Yeah, it is silver. It is silver. And there's some wraps on around the handle sculpted in and painted so it looks real good you see some very nice sculpting of nooks within the battle axes if he's like been hitting things or chopping at things great sculpting in the blade right here along the peak of the axe looks real good sculpting all through here it is done in a nice hard plastic and then you have the power sword the classic turning power sword this right here is legendary amongst people who love master universe and you see great sculpting inside of it done with a nice silver paint as well and it has wrapped around the handle right here and a nice little nice little round finger at the bottom right there but the sculpting of the sword is very very nice and solid no warping or anything like that pretty big sword as you can see then you have these other hands right here you know nothing special pretty much what you're getting and of course they give you a fist as well and another open hand as you can see right here and you can plug those into the man you can pull his hands out and plug them yeah i gotta lube these guys up and most of all what i really really like is the fact that this harkens back to the old school battle on a man because what you would do back in the day is hit his chest and it would spin around and you would throw the battle damage on his chest right here. now i'm thinking maybe you can pull this out You'll be able to pull this piece out right here because there are plugs on the back right here and it's done in a nice hard plastic great paint ads great deco going on on this guy and he looks really really good and over here you have e-man looking really really good loving the face sculpt if you look there's a scar about below his eye right there a, a, a scar below his eye let's let's let that focus for a bit there's a scar over there. Loving the beard that they put on him. There's some wash in the hair. The blonde looks real good on him. The pauldron on his arm is connected onto a strap, so it looks really, really, really good. I'm loving the sculpting in the belt. Now, they could have went with a silver paint, but I will go with this because it's pretty much like a flat silver gray paint that they have going on right here. But the loincloth looks good. The boot and the wraps look very good right here. He has a boot knife right there that is removable. You can take it in and out right there. The boot dagger, a boot knife right there. And it's sculpted, you know, it's sculpted pretty good and done in a nice hard plastic. You do have um, flat like sculpting up here in the handle. So it looks really, really good. I'm liking that. And it fits back into the sheath really well. This looks good. I'm liking this. Battle Armor Heat Man looks really, really good. Loving that beard that they put on it. The eyes are nice and even. Side profile looks good. I like how he has a bend in his nose, like it's been broken before. Like mine has been broken before. Um, nice armor right there. You can actually put the, I wanna, okay, so this is this works out real good. You can put the shield on his back. You can peg the shield into his back, just so. And I think that looks cool. That looks real cool. You see some class right there so that you can pretty much take the skirt area off. You know the side armor or the skirt off right there loincloth looks real good completely different sculpt of loincloth we're going on right there as you can see he has the shield gauntlet right here and as i was telling you before you can take this and peg this into can you peg? yeah you can peg that into his arm right there and it's a nice tight fit too very tight fit so yeah you can get all of this going on this looks really really good now of course we are going to dual wield these weapons right here i've always liked to have my human with the axe 
my He-Man always carried the axe. The sword would be on his back, and I would use the sword just in case he had to fight two foes or if like his axe got knocked out of his hand during my imagination battles or whatever the case may be. And when he pulled out the sword, you were dead. Like when he had the axe, you're gonna die. But if you pull out the sword, you're going to die. And he looks good with both weapons in his hand, as you can see. And they fit in very snug, everything. And this guy is really beefy, he's solid. This is a solid figure right here. This is a very solid figure, as you can see. He's looking really, really good. I'm loving this figure right here. Really, really liking this. I love the design of the armor that they put onto him and everything like that. The boots are just phenomenal. I'm loving the wraps around the boots and everything like that. I mean, yeah, he could have used a bit more shine or wash to him, but he looks really, really good. Totally digging this guy, like, you know, digging him. He looks good, man. He looks good. This He-Man looks good. I'm liking the fact that they put a beard on him. I'm loving that beard on him, man. That beard on him looks great. You can see the bangs. Some of his bangs is coming over and stuff. Got the Dutch, got the Bieber bolt. No, got the Dutch boy going on right there. And yes, there is wash in his hair. Side profile looks really, really good on this guy. Now let's see if we can change out the armor because I think I dropped it. Okay. Now, how does this armor come out? Okay, I'm gonna have to be real careful with this. Do I wanna use a knife? No, I'm gonna have to. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, so look, this is actually real cool. So in instead of me having to do it the hard way, look, this whole piece comes off and you see like he has some techno armor under it. That's what I always loved about He-Man because it was He-Man in the Master Universe along with Thundar. It was a mixture of like science, sorcery, and savagery, stuff like that. Of course, that came from Thundar the Barbarian, but yeah. And so you can take this whole breastplate off right here, right? It comes off, right? Really easily. And then you can peg the damage, the battle damage look of um, He-Man. You can line them up. You see his pegs right there, peg right there. And you can line it up. Push that in. Make sure I get it right. Wait, which one? Okay. All right, so I had it upside down. All right. Now, the only part you might have a problem with is lining it up because I'm old. But yeah, you line it up and place it on his chest like that and then easily put this shield factor, like the shield portion, back on. And there you have him with his battle damage look like the old toy back in the day. I think this is a great figure. I'm really, really liking this right here. Very happy I decided to do a Master Universe busted open for you guys he looks great he looks really really good and everything is staying on him real tight nothing is falling off i'm shaking him he didn't come out of the package blue or anything like that he is very stiff everything really solid on this guy no i'm not being endorsed or being um, paid by mattel to give a good review because I, you already saw i didn't like that gypsy at all but most of the massiverse figures that i have picked out that i have purchased i've been very happy with very happy with and again, he has the same articulation as the rest of them, but because of the pauldron right here, you're not really going to be able to move his arm around as, um, you know, as as effectively as you can the others. But he has the same articulation as the others, but his head reaches up a little bit further than most of the Master Universe figures, or whatever the case may be, Master Verse line. Nice um, arm, you know, you're going to have to oil this. For some reason, the plastic that they're using now is high quality plastic, which is very rare for mainstream toys to come, come with, like they're, it's not the cheap stuff. Like there's nothing rubbery on this guy. Maybe his armor bits, because you know, on the hips, they want you to be able to maneuver the legs. But the engineering of this figure is absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. 
You got the thigh cuts. The leg can go out this far, even with the skirt right here. But I'm loving the um, sculpting of the um, gold crest and the belt right there. The ab section looks great. Everything, it looks really, really good. Double hinge knees, twisted the calf and everything like that. You know, you do have a, um, a nice bend on his leg, as you can see right there. And you have the ankle rocker right there. So this guy is done very, very, very well. I'm loving the aesthetics of him. He's beautiful. I love his, his gauntlets on his arm, his bracelet, and his gauntlet look very well. I love the way you can compartmentalize. Yeah, they gave him a very manly face. You see it, right? The face is phenomenal. And they put a scar by his eye and everything like that. He has like frown lines in his foreheads and everything like that. They did a good job on this guy. I'm really liking him. And again, because he's a mainstream toy, I'm very impressed with him. Now, if it was something like Hot Toys or whatever, as you stated, Eddie, yes, that that's, that junk better be looking cart like better than whatever because you're going to pay some money with Hot Toys for it. You're paying some money. But this guy looks really good. I love the wraps and the boots. Do I think they could have put a little bit more paint on the boots that around the wraps? But I, I, you know what? I don't mind. I don't mind. They did a good job on the boots right here. Loving those right here. And yeah, these are different boots from these right here. That's what I like that they give all of them kind of like different different things or whatever the case might be. Whereas though, when I was growing up with Mass Universe, they would just sometimes just change the head or change whatever. All of them had the same body sculpts except for um, Iron Man, Manny Faces, whatever the case may be. And even Manny Faces, they reused a lot of stuff from um, for Trap Jaw for him, you know? But yeah, he looks very, very good. He looks really good. I'm really liking this figure. They did a great job with Battle Armor He-Man. Great job. And yes, you can take the side skirts off or whatever the case may be, but this is a good figure right here. They did a great job with this guy. And of course, he has holes on the bottom. And some of the wraps go all the way around the bottom too with the textures, you see? Not bad, not bad at all. I give this guy five. I give this guy five. I give this guy five. The face sculpt alone, and I love the way they did the hair. The hair looks real nice. Face sculpt looks real good and everything. And his eyes are nice and even. You know, the nose looks real good. Everything looks real good on him. They did a nice job on this guy. The weapons fit into his hand very well. You know, I love the different type of loin cloth that they've given him. Because I can show you, hold on. All right, here he is next to this was the first faker that they released right this is battle on the human i like them both and you see there's a different loincloth different type of boots and everything and yes i know that fake i know this faker is from the um revolution line motu revolution line but they did a great job on him, man. Got the red eyes and everything like that. The review is up on YouTube in the playlist. Sorry, got a piece of hair up there. But again, I love these figures. They do a great job on these figures. And this one looks really, really good. They did a really good job on him. I will do a comparison with him with the Motu Classics real quick. So that you guys can see what he looks like. Oh, here he is. He was right next to me. Now, this is not Battle Armor He-Man, but this is Motu Classics He-Man. I was never able to get a hold of Battle Armor He-Man because by the time I tried to get him, it was I was too late. And like with the Motu Classics, they were like ripping you. But here he is next to Motu Classics He-Man, and here he is next to Battle Armor He-Man. Pardon the dust because I had um I had to pull him out of storage. 
class of comparison. But yeah, I'm a big fan of He-Man, if you can tell. That's multi classic He man and I love that face sculpt on him. And this is the newer one. I like them both. I like them both. So yeah, I think that's it. Oh no, I promised to give you guy put his mask on his face for Jitsu, right? So, but y'all said I didn't show Jitsu no love. And no, I know I didn't. I didn't really show Jitsu no love. Now let's see how this mask goes on. Okay, it looks like you can just put it over the back and slide it down. That's so. It's just that his hand, it's his hand. That's the problem. Jitsu's hand should be way bigger than this. But I do like the mask. Now that I put the, um, yeah. Now that I put the mask on him, I like him even more. I do like him with the um, demon mask on. But the hand should have been much bigger. So what did we give him? We gave him a three. No, we gave him a four, right? Three or four. But what did we give him? He does look nicer with the mask on. But I don't remember Jitsu being no good guy. Jitsu was never a good guy. And no continuum. Jitsu always been a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? And yes, he was a conqueror and warlord. What do you think he looked like with the mask on, Kenny? Yeah, the mask makes him much better. The mask makes it much better. Another one that inside of the package, he looks garbage, but outside of the package, he looks like a completely different figure. Now, I actually like him now. I'll retract my score and I'll agree with you guys. I'll give him a four. I'll retract my score. I like him better now. It's just that his hand should have been much bigger. His hand should be much bigger than what it is. But remember Jitsu, remember that statue, Kenny, the one you were talking about? His, stat, his, his hand is big, and I mean big. Yeah, it looks good, much better. You were right, Martin. Put the mask on him, he looks much better. You're right. Yeah, he looks much better with the mask on. Yeah. Yeah, this works, this works. Because he looks like a post-apocalyptic samurai with this on, especially with like the barbarian boots and the loincloth and everything, it works. All right, guys, it works. And you can, I can get him to hold the sword like this, you know, like a samurai, whatever case may be. Uh, I can put it over the front, put his hand over the front like this. Yeah, that mask, that mask is fire. That mask is fire. That's, that's what he needed. Yeah, me too. Like that cloak, you're right. That cloak would look better on Jitsu. You're absolutely right. I would have to maneuver it a bit, but you're right. That cloak would look nice on Jitsu. Of course, I'm going to do it better than this, what I'm about to show you. But yeah, that cloak would look better on Jitsu. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Now you can, with the cloak, you have to fold it over. Now we'll have to put this piece over his head, um, over his um, head piece. Yeah, the cloak, you're right. The cloak would look better on him. You're absolutely right. So, um, yeah, Battle Armor He-Man looks great. I, that one, I really, really like that Battle Armor He-Man. Where the fuck did I put him at? And yeah, Jitsu turned out well. It's just that he had very stiff joints. And I didn't know what was going on with him. But I thought maybe I thought maybe they were just like uh, trying to make it like with new chopping action and his arm just stay up like this, but no. But this Battle Armor He-Man looks great. Part of the pose I have him in, but he looks good. Now there's nowhere to put his weapons, but I mean like this Battle Armor He-Man, he should have all of his weapons in hand. Thus so. And I love, I love the face sculpt on him. I love the way they did his hair. You know, he looks great. He really looks good right here. And yeah, there's a peg on his gaunt, on his arm. Um, Left gauntlet for a shield. Muscle tone body sculpt looks real good. The sculpting in the belt is real good. The boot dagger looks great. Everything looks good on this guy. So, I think I've held you guys up long enough. I hope you enjoy 
Hey, Brian, what's going on, man? You just missed it. I did a very long, I did a two hour run of Masterverse figures because I had so many of them where I didn't get a chance to um, do like productions for them or like, you know, make productions for them or anything like that. So I figured I'd give you guys a marathon on it. Good to see you, brother Brian, man. It's so good to see you. How you been? What you been up to? How's the family? Fellow my listen, this guy right here, Brian Brummage, and I have known him for a very long time. He was one of my first customers when I had opened up Tuffner Toys. And um, me and him have been friends ever since. Because for one, I'm not one of these people that's gonna sell something that I don't like. I actually enjoy collecting action figures. I actually love video games. I actually love playing guitar. I actually love all sorts of stuff. Comic books, books, movies, you name it, I love it. And Brian was, Brian and you know, his, his mom who has passed, oh, who has passed, you know, was a, um, very good friend. We, he, me and he and I became very good friends. Haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, I know, Brian. Hope everything's working out for you, brother. It's good to see you. It's really good to see you, man. Really good to see you. I was going to do one more bonus one, but I, I'm, I'm spent, guys. I'm spent. If you want me to do one more, just say so. If you want me to go um, rest up for the day, play some video games, whatever the case may be, let me know. I think I got one more in me. That's if you want it. But if not, don't worry. But I won't do it. I will not do it. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm old. A lot of y'all don't want to accept that I'm an old man. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We had a, I had a, I had a blast both of us and opening these guys. And I actually like it when you guys great versus me giving my opinion. Yeah, man. I don't know why nobody don't want to. Yo, and look, Apple, Apple kept walking. She was like, "Yo, yeah, what's the name?" I was like, "You want to do clam champ?" She was like, "No, no, no." Every time I pulled up clam champ, every time, every time I pulled up clam champ, they um, they got no wins. So it might be a thing with clam champ. Exactly, and don't you think the hand should have been bigger, Brian? The hand should have been much bigger on clam champ. I mean, on um, jitsu. The hand. Look at this. But once I put like the mask on him and everything and all the doodads and stuff like that, he looks better, but his hand needs to be much bigger than that. Clamp Champ, I mean, Jitsu's hand needs to be much bigger than that. Again, thank you so much for all you people who just stopped in today. And again, I decided to stream over on Twitch, which is something new for me. So, you know, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate everybody. Hey, Mouse Type, what's going on? You missed all the action, baby. But you can go back and watch the replay. Um... Need to go be seen exactly, yeah, yeah. I, I know. No, nobody want to see Clamp Champ Mouse type. Nobody wants to see Clamp Champ. Exactly. His hand should have been much bigger. Because what made you love Jitsu and and um slip and uh, what's his name? Fisto was the fact that they had them big giant hands and all, or like Jitsu had that big karate chop hand and so on and so forth. But um, whether you believe it or not, I don't know if you have this figure or not. Um, Brian, more than likely you do. Did you read the bio that they gave Jitsu? Jitsu is now a good guy. And you know, Jitsu in all pretty much different renditions was a bad guy. He's a warlord. In actuality, remember when Skeletor went chasing after He-Man in space, or they, you know, they were fighting in space in the new adventures of He-Man, Jitsu took over um Castle Grayskull. I mean, um Sir Snake Mountain. You know what I mean? So I don't know why they made him a good guy. And I understand like the new attorney line is a different concept or whatever the case may be, but I don't know why they did that. But you say, I was sleep. I understand mouse type. It'd be like that sometime, man. It'd be like that. But yeah, um, we're going to do a marathon tomorrow around about six. I have a lot of running around to do, but I'm definitely coming home to do a, do, um, a marathon with you guys. I might extend the marathon maybe to um, maybe to Monday or something like that because I have a whole lot of Massiverse figures that I didn't review for you guys. And I actually like it this way when I can bust them open. Yeah, me too. I love the Masterverse line. Absolutely love the Masterverse line. A lot of people, you know what it is? A lot of people like the Origins line because it reminds them of their childhood. Me, I like the Masterverse line because for one, it literally has a more mature take on the Master Universe figures. I love the body sculpt. I, and it's a mixture of 2000X line and, a, and the modernized one that they just, and Masterverse. And the Motu Classics and the Origins. So I like it all the way around. Did you get Merman, um, Brian? Merman looks real good. I, I reviewed him first. If that's what they chose, and Merman looks very good. He looks very good. 
But again, one of my favorites, as of recent, amongst all of them, is Too Bad. I love this Too Bad right here. This Too Bad looks amazing to me. I love the sculpt on it, the build on it, the quality of it, everything I love about Too Bad. He looks amazing. And yes, again, Brian, if you just reach in here, I had showed some um some um action figure stands that I think you should look into if you're looking for action figure stands for your 112 um scale figures. And you will actually love these stands. They are very, and I mean very good, bro. These are them right here. I've been using these and they are just amazing. Hold on, I'm about to share it with you right now. For those of you who just tuned in. I, I, I um, tested out these figures. I mean, these action figure stands and they are great. They work very well. I have no issues with them whatsoever. These right here. And no, I'm not being endorsed by this company or anything like that. Anything of the sort. Yeah, a lot of people don't like the new adventures of He-Man. A lot of people didn't, but I did. I actually enjoyed the new adventures of He-Man. If you can, check out these, um, these action figure stands right here. They are absolutely amazing. And yes, I did like the new adventures of He-Man. A lot of people didn't, and I understand why. Because it was a major, a major change from the original He-Man that we were accustomed to. But I had liked it. You need food? Yeah, I think we all need food. I need to eat as well. So, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoyed my bus Motu Master vs. Busted Open Marathon. Um, I might be streaming or trying to finish what's that game that everybody hates that I'm playing, Dayman. It is a pretty much like a, a cheap knockoff of Resident Evil. Um, dialogue is terrible. Um, for the first hour of the game, I think I was just walking, just walking, just walking. Now things starting to pick up and it's just like, you know, okay, but I am. Somebody said, just play a good game. Nobody, you really don't want to see me finish up Dave there? If you don't want me to see me finish it up, I won't finish it up. But yeah, I like the new adventures of He-Man. A lot of people didn't like it, but I love the new adventures of He-Man. You know what I'm saying? The ponytail, that was the problem. Nobody liked the ponytail on He-Man. Nobody liked the ponytail on He-Man. I love the new adventures of He-Man. I know it's garbage. I know it's garbage. You know what? If I really get too many complaints about it, I won't finish it. It was only it was only like fifteen bucks, like fifteen dollars on Steam. That's why I grabbed it up, and it just came out not too long ago, which pretty much told me so. But um, I love you guys. Wouldn't be able to do this without all your support. You guys are the absolute best. Check me out on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Um, subscribe and follow to me on Twitch and YouTube. On YouTube, on Tougher Toys. I have subscriptions up there. If you like what I do, if you know, if you feel as though it's worth the work or worth, you know, your $2 or $3, I greatly appreciate it. They should be up there. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. Love you guys. Take care. Have a wonderful evening. And remember, when you buy a toy, what do you do? Yeah, bust it open. Bust it open. Just open it up. Open it up. Let that, what you say, Kenny? Let it breathe. Let it breathe, right? My birthday is coming up. That is why I'm holding off on the two ways of massive. Okay. Okay. But sometimes, Brian, look on Target. You can catch them for cheap sometimes, but they'll have like these one day sales. Sometimes they'll just like blast them out there for cheap. So I love you guys, take care. You're the absolute best. Thank you for tuning in and I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much.